Yo! Hello! You've been waiting? I'm early. <laughs> You're not waiting. I'm like an hour, hour early. What's the plan? Time you out. <laughs> That's my plan. Suck my dick, Google Maps. Uh, Hip Inferno, Lily, Potato Tower. Uh, Con John, Benedict. Oh, wait a minute. Where did these moves come from? <laughs> uh, potato. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, first class alcoholic. What's up? I still have chills from your Fizz game with Team Clint. All true League fans do. All true League fans do. Uh, Data Ecto, what's up? Funky Melon, excited for the Minecraft tonight? Yeah, it's gonna be a big one. I know I always do Minecraft, but I just feel like I have to keep going back to that well because it's such a such a rewarding experience for me. Fat Nick, thank you for three months. Happy anniversary, Big Atrioc. Bald, bald, glizzy, glizzy. You get it. <laughs> Thank you for the three. Three months. It's too early to be saying that. Full up cycle, think of the two months. RDC West, think of the 10. Fortnite Friday? I think I'm going to take a break from Fortnite today. Shocker. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to play Fortnite today. Maybe. If I find the right duo, maybe. Maybe, but I think I'm... What, uh... What did I want to say? Uh, oh. What? Bro, what? Stop the music. Someone in chat said, have you heard Roblox is trying to be a dating app? And I said, ha ha ha, you know, I was thinking like, that's dumb. And then I just per chance Googled it to see if like there's any truth to that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, if your relationship is made on the Roblox dating app, it is doomed. It should be, a. they should just give you a divorce lawyer with the fucking first date. That's crazy. That or fucking uh, the uh, or the, it's a it's a Chris Hansen operation. <laughs> or this is just a fucking FBI level sting for fucking the dumbest pedophiles. This is crazy. This is so stupid. How could they? This is a growth area for Roblox trying to become a date app, dating app. Roblox really wants to move beyond being an app for kids. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. What? A for Okay, this is his predict. Actually, oh, dude, this is too funny. I should save this for Monday. <laughs> Wait, I should save this for Monday, dude. This shit is hilarious. A okay, this is his predictions. This is the CEO of Roblox's predictions for the future of his company. Number 10, a Fortune 500 company will use Roblox experience as part of their recruiting process. Who? <laughs> Raytheon? Are you going to get hired for Raytheon because you fucking went through a Roblox map? This is fucking cringe. Uh, a school will, gener will integrate a full K-12 through curriculum with Roblox, including language classes with schools in other countries and virtual field trips. Omega cringe, but I guess possible. Like, I think there's kids that'll tune out of learning, but if you tell them it's learning with Roblox, it's like Kahoot, dude. It's like you make it a game. Maybe they'll enjoy it. That's not crazy. That's not crazy. Um, 
This is insane. Dating app Roblox is insane. Roblox employees will spend more time using Roblox for remote, remote meetings than with video. Well, this is kind of within your control as the CEO. You can mandate it. <laughs> That's like when Mark Zuckerberg mandated that all of his employees use fucking Horizon World. And they were doing the absolute bare minimum and then fucking getting out of there. Like that, that's, that's, that's not a real, uh, mark point. I think unlikely this will even happen. No. People are just going to use fucking Teams or Zoom or Slack. They're not going to log into Roblox for a meeting. That's dumb. We will share a universal civility metric and show that for most players it increases over time. Okay, you're going to make up a metric that shows that people are becoming more civil when they play Roblox? <laughs> cool, man. It sounds like something I will deeply trust. Um, some Roblox creators will make more money from selling physical merchandise than virtual merchandise. I guess that could be true. Like, if a Roblox creator makes a fucking map that's really popular and they sell shirts or what i guess why is that a goal that's yeah, weird because they don't make money off that i assume that's weird roblox will be a frequent communication channel for my family <laughs> this dude's poor family this guy this fucking ceo's beleaguered wife uh uh uh, 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 uh. i don't want the grocery list <laughs> over text <laughs> Send it to me in Roblox. She's fucking slamming a third bottle of wine, logging into Roblox to tell her husband that. <laughs> that's insane. This is insane. That's not a real metric. That's You could tell me that's true and I wouldn't know. And if it is true, it feels psychotic. A top fashion designer will be discovered on Roblox without having any experience in physical fashion. I guess it's possible. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Didn't Kanye West make a ton of money through fucking Yeezys? And he's, I don't know. I think that's possible. Uh, it's insane, but I think it's possible. Every outfit I've seen in Roblox is the ugliest thing I've seen in my life. So I can't imagine that's going to be translated to real world. Unless you want to dress like a huge box. But, um, hey, big A, Vodfrog here. My fiance wants you to officiate our wedding. Any thoughts? Yeah, uh, I'll do it for $10,000. A cool 10K and I will fly out. And I will officiate your wedding. So start saving. It's a good investment. Um, <laughs> uh, a musician will perform live to over a million people on Roblox using a phone for motion capture. <laughs> it's the worst concert I've ever heard of. This could 100% happen. I'm not doubting it. But like when you think about the Fortnite concerts, like the... Uh, the Travis Scott one or whatever. It's almost like they put so much effort into those and nobody gets crushed to death. So it's almost better than a real Travis Scott concert. You know what I'm saying? You can jump around with your friends. He's 10,000 feet tall. There's a moon. Nobody dies. So that's almost better. I feel like uh, if it's a Roblox concert and they're using their phone for motion capture, it feels like it's going to be shit. It's going to be extremely unfun. Uh, but will they have legs? This is not metaverse. This is Roblox. A Roblox developer will be valued at one billion dollars. I'll is this for the year for 2023? I will disagree. <laughs> I'll disagree. I'll take the under. I don't think any Roblox dev is going to be worth a billion dollars in 2023, especially because I don't know if you guys have taken a gander. This is Roblox's stock price <laughs> since the bubble of 2021. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, they're, worth, they're still a multiple billion dollar company, but they, <laughs> they've dr dramatically down. Peak of 134 down to 29. They're like 80% off the high, something like that. Uh, I doubt that the fucking valuation of app developers in Roblox is going to skyrocket. A oh, 1 billion Robux? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I fucking guess, dude. Anyway, interesting. Uh, 
Hmm. Oh, they, they, had a, they had a previous prediction back in 2018. And they said the following. Wait, 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 wait. They said uh, a national movie launches based on a developer's game story or avatar. This did not happen. 50% of toys sold in the USA will have a Roblox scan tag. This did not happen. The president of the USA will mention their Roblox avatar on camera. <laughs> Bro, you thought Joe Biden was going to shout out his fucking Roblox avatar? Or Trump? E either one? This is 2018? Oh, God. There's still time, I guess. You know what? There is still time. Pokemon Go to the polls didn't happen until the primaries. Maybe Biden needing a last second boost against Newsom or something. <laughs> pulls out his Roblox avatar. I don't know. Maybe. A major national movie premiere on Roblox getting more engagement than TV or online video didn't happen. And Tesla will use Roblox developers in a promotional effort. It's just sad. You probably could get Elon to do that. Give Twitter fucking $14 <laughs> and he'll he'll do whatever they're so desperate for ad revenue uh yeah I guess you know so these didn't happen so I, I'm gonna say this is gonna be a, a a very gray list here in in 2023 but we'll see we'll see could all come back together who's Twitter hmm. 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 how's everybody doing What's going on? I'm live a little early today. I just felt like going live. Felt like fucking seeing what's up. I want to do games and reacts today. There's a couple videos I've been meaning to watch that I'm excited for. Um, Chibble, think of the 22 months. Bubsy, think of the Oh, you know what? I should have done though. Should have uploaded a video. Fuck. I forgot to do that. Yay, yikes. Well, I don't want to do a thumbnail stream, so I won't do it, but I'll do it afterwards. Uh, HR, can you answer my questions in my logs? It's very hyper important. Tear down praise, tear down praise. Omega low, omega low poggies. Just rank up right now. Tear down praise, tear down praise. Poggies, 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 Fortnite Poggies. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> Why would he go to Argentina when he can fix his economy by playing RuneScape? What are you asking? I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't I, your chat message is incredible though. Thank you so much. Uh, no idea what your question is or when it was. Um, you, mm, 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 mm. um, uh, no, uh, he's a hundred percent playing inscription today. I am not playing inscription today, though. I do think I'll play a new game, just a random fucking new game Friday. And then I think I want to watch some, some cool videos. There's a new Wendover video, uh, that's called like how dollar stores took over America. That looked interesting. I wanted to watch that with chat. There's mm, outer wilds is not today. As I've said multiple times, Outer Wilds is the 16th. Mm hmm. Where is that? 2020. That was. Um, let's see. Hey, there's this new indie title called Starfield. I've not checked it out. No, I haven't checked it out, though I, I am considering it. I am considering it uh, only because my trainer raved about it today. So it's possible it's, I don't know. I just, I think I'm not going to like it, bro. Straight up. <laughs> I think I'm not going to like it. And I think I am going to play right to the window where I should play longer. People say play 12 hours or whatever and it gets good. I think I'll play 11 and I'll be like, eh, and give up. I think exactly what's going to happen. Um, Starfield, more like Barfield. Can you explain that for the chat? <laughs> Can you? Because I don't think we get it. Maybe everyone else gets it. And that's why they're laughing. I don't get it. 
Can you explain why that's a joke? Is it pro, is it pro Starfield or anti? I don't. Mm, I don't understand. Uh, oh barf. <laughs> so wait, there was an explanation. Barf eeled. Wow, that's actually fucking funny. Uh, do you remember the game Strayed Lights? It's a cool Souls-like game you could finish in one stream. Yeah, but I don't think today. I don't think today is the game for that. This is not a pure gaming show. I really want to watch. I want to watch. I think there might be a new Coffeezilla. Is there? Actually, I'm not sure. I think there's just new interesting things to watch, right? Is that? No, it's actually not. Uh, I, I just want to watch the Windover video, actually. If I watch the Windover video and there's something else, then maybe we'll do something else, but that's what I want to watch. It's a 20-minute video. It's got a million views in a day, and it's about how dollar stores quietly consumed America, which sounds very interesting. So I'll watch that. Um, there's a new Sniper Wolf video. <laughs> No fucking way, dude. Let's let's do a day where we watch a Sniper Wolf video and then a Jax Films video and then a Sniper Wolf video and a Jax Films video back to back for fucking 24 hours. Just to get both sides of the story, you know? Um, that's my every day. <laughs> glad, I'm glad I hired you. Uh, I need to turn on some air, dude. It's fucking hot in here. Maybe it's this fucking thick ass apple sweater. One second, 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 one second. wearing the same pants from yesterday you can wear jeans back to back you can wear jeans back to back there's actually nothing wrong with that especially because i only wore them at night yes you can yes you can i'm uh, yeah first of all it's insane because i know there's so many people in chat who are probably wearing the pants they wore yesterday right now and they're spamming I can't, I can't, I can't, Omega, oh, we got him, we fucking got him, roasted, and like, you're doing it right now, you're doing it right now. Poop jeans? You shit in your pants every day? That's what you do? You shit in your pants every single day, that's why you have to keep changing? <laughs> yeah, duh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some, I'm going to put you on to some real gas, dude. I'm going to put you on to some incredible life tips. If you don't shit in your pants every day, you actually can rewear jeans. This jeans is not a fucking one and done wash them and, and lose them situation. Uh, where do I shit though? <laughs> I've just created more problems for you. I've just created your more problems. Uh, there's these things called bathrooms. It's a whole thing. I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll do a whole marketing Monday on it. Um, <clears throat> hey, Shrock, you should wear different clothes, but I guess I'm built different. What? I don't know what you're saying. Um, if you don't shit your pants, you're not getting the most out of them. All right, we're, we're getting really hung up on this shit your pants thing. I said it as a joke that you all shit your pants daily, but you guys are really committing to the bit. 
pants. And now I'm concerned that a good portion of my chat shits in their pants daily and thinks it's cool. So it's... <laughs> Okay. Not a bit, 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 not a bit. It's a lifestyle. Who said that recently? Cracked me up. Oh, was I on Stan's stream? I was, I was hanging out with, uh, with Don B. You guys might know me, melee guy. Um, and he was telling me, we were talking about fitness because, uh, we've both been trying to work out more recently. He's like, yeah, I got a friend that's really jacked and his trick is. He drinks Pepsi Max every day. <laughs> but he said this not as a joke. He said it unironically. And I was like, bro, shh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, the trick is not. There's That's literally not true. Pepsi. I, I thought it was an ad. He's like a walking billboard for Pepsi Max. And I was like, bro, Pepsi Max did not cause your friend to get jacked. There's no, there's no benefit. There's no fitness benefit to that drink. And he's like, no, it's like if you drink Pepsi Max... You're not drinking like other bad stuff. So, <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you? It's not. It's just a soda. Uh, Pepsi Max is genuinely good for your health. Shut the fuck up. No, it isn't. Hocktick. No, it isn't. Pepsi Max is not genuinely good for your health. No. Shut up. <laughs> Do not. I'm not starting this conversation again. There is no situation where drinking Pepsi Max. I'm not saying maybe it's maybe it's better than Pepsi uh, normal or something. I don't know, maybe, but it's not. Um, better than Pepsi Min. Got good on you. Uh, it helps you cut out Coke. <laughs> I guess if you went from drinking like a gallon of Coke a day to a little bit of Pepsi Max, that would be it. But it wouldn't be the secret Pepsi Max. Um, H-Rock, my grandma told me. I already disagree with your sentence. My grandma told me you're a Chinese spy because of your What's Up Beijing segment. Can you tell her that's not true? If your grandma thinks I'm a, a Chinese spy who made a 40-minute critical video of Xi Jinping <laughs> to throw him off the scent, I guess, then why would she believe me if I tell her I'm not? How would that be? My grandma said the same thing. I'm not kidding. How are you, how are you not kidding? Explain to me how your grandma saw a video where I literally point by point attacked Xi Jinping and then said I'm a Chinese spy. <laughs> well, I don't I don't understand it. I don't Okay, now you're all just saying it. Now you're all just saying, okay, I see you're lying. What you're doing is you're lying. You know, I can't really have a conversation with you guys if you're gonna lie every time about shitting your pants and having grandmas that are talking and <laughs> and you know it's like every single time it feels like you guys are taking it to another level. Isn't that you know what I'm saying? It feels like we're 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 not on different pages because you guys are taking what I'm saying and you're putting on a rocket ship. Chad is not lying. We have proof. What's the proof? Ask the storyteller. What's the proof? Please, please enlighten me with the proof that your grandma said that I'm a Chinese spy. Uh my grandma goes to another school. <laughs> oh, damn. I guess we can't call her. Damn. How does that even work? That Does that... Um, the very concept of like, you know, oh, yeah, I've got a girlfriend. She goes to another school. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't work in 2023 because everyone's got phones. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, well, that concept doesn't make sense. You could just be like, all right, well, show me your Instagram. <laughs> Do you guys have a picture together? Like, it doesn't... There's no... There's no, like, all that is completely out of the, the realm of possibility. Nah, she doesn't use Insta. Well, <laughs> she doesn't have any social media. She's anti-social media. Okay, now that sounds stupid. <laughs> At least back in the day, like, it's theoretically possible. Like, for example, if I'm the fucking, if I move every year, right, and I show up new kid in school... I could be like, oh, yeah, I got a girlfriend. She's back at the other school, you know, but we're staying in touch. 
<laughs> I didn't do this. I'm not saying I did. I'm just saying I could have, theoretically. Uh, but, like, that was, that was pre-everyone having a phone. Or at least they did have phones, but it was just dumb phones. It was just, uh, I have a business idea based on this. Can I pitch it? No. <laughs> but you can tell me in chat. <laughs> Uh, the only good social is Xbox live chat. <laughs> that is complete non sequitur. <laughs> what do you mean? You obviously don't believe that. You, you don't secretly believe that Xbox live chat is the only good social media. It's not efficient. How are your parents going to use that to talk to their friend? How is, how are you going to connect with old <laughs> classmates? How are you going to, how is Obama going to make a fucking post about, Income inequality. It's not. It's not a good place to do it in COD lobbies. Uh, no boomers. It's perfect. It's probably all boomers, <laughs> or at least millennials. Xbox live chat, bro. It's actually there's nobody fucking uh, under eighteen in there. It's like everyone who misses fucking Call of Duty lobbies. A girl who makes socials to prove you're dating her. Ah, uh, you professional catfish. Just so you have texts and selfies and stuff. Easy money. I think that probably exists, right? Where you can have someone pretend to be your social media. I, the problem is, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at scale. It doesn't work at scale. Because that person, like the real test would be a person with a normal Instagram profile that has a photo of you two together. That would convince everyone. That's the only way to convince people, I think, in the modern age, that that person is actually dating you. AI. Photoshop. No, but see, the thing is, they would look at that person's pro. They'd have to make new profiles for every client. And then they wouldn't have any... I guess they could follow each other. I don't know. I think... I, think, I don't think it works. What I'm saying is I think right now, if you try to convince your friends that you had a secret um, girlfriend or boyfriend, you I don't think you could do it. I actually don't think it would work. Um, I think people would very quickly realize because of how the internet works. Um... Uh, you just, I'm literally in <laughs> malicious actors do that to hack into companies via LinkedIn and Facebook. What do you mean? Like social engineering? Interesting. Ha ha. Yeah. That's why they wouldn't believe me. <laughs> no, that's also what I'm saying though. What I'm saying is if you're the type of person whose people around you already don't think you are capable of finding any significant other ever. You're not going to convince them with your, like, <laughs> you know, random, weird-looking, chat GPT-generated text. It's not, oh, this must be real. <laughs> She's got no social media, and no one's ever heard of her or seen her, but you've got chat GPT. Like, does it, you know what I'm saying? I don't think anyone's convinced. One dude at my school, we all made fun of for pretending he had a girlfriend that he made up. Then they showed up together at prom. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, hey, good for him. Good for him. Uh... She wasn't a paid actor. I mean, isn't that more insane though? You're saying there's two outcomes there. This person you don't know <laughs> might have actually had a girlfriend or this person hired a paid actor for the prom. Like that's, I don't know. It just feels, it feels more unlikely. I think the prom is so, you don't know this person. And also that just seems crazy. Um... Yeah, but it's funnier if he still got roasted. I guess true. 
Uh, I used to add my own number to my contacts under a different name and text myself. Ha ha. Good times. <laughs> That's so sad. That's so sad. Oh, <laughs> good times though. Uh, well, so I'm trying to, let me just understand. Let me, I'm sorry. Cause that's a tough one. Um, was the purpose, I guess there's two parts to this, right? Purpose number one is really sad where it's just like, you have nobody to text and you're texting yourself back and forth, different characters. That's kind of like schizophrenic, but was it more like, um, People are around you and you want to be on your phone and you want it to seem like you're talking to people. Cause that's a little, that's a little different. It's still, I mean, it's still sad. All right. Don't get me wrong, but I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're in the second one. What you're trying to do is like, it's almost like social proof. <laughs> it's almost like bootstrapping social viability. Do you know what I'm saying? It's almost like signaling people around you. Hey, I do have friends and we text. I don't have any friends here. That's why I'm not talking to anybody, but I do have friends. <laughs> but if you guys were to talk to me, I'm actually pretty nice. Cause you can see how I'm having this lively conversation like that. I see what you're doing. It's sad in a way, but like, you know, when you got to do, what you got to do like, I get it. I understand what you're doing, but I, if you're just texting yourself in a conversation, that's insane. Like that's a, I, that's a more serious problem. Wait, why not just talk to new people? Yeah, you're right. Why not just don't be depressed? Why not just work out all the time? <laughs> it's good for you. Why not just eat healthy? Don't eat bad food. Why not just uh, study for your exams? You'll get a better grade. Why not just like <laughs> pick up the phone and call people you have to talk to? It's like, it's easy. It's, it's, that's, why not just do these things, right? You understand? Because people, because human beings, our brains, not so good. We have a lot of flaws rolling around in there. So we make a lot of mistakes. Uh, you just fixed my entire life. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I think, I think, uh, that is the right thing to do, of course, but I'm just saying people do stupid things in a situation where they're scared or, uh, socially isolated. Uh, I'm trying to think, I just don't think it would work. Like, <laughs> I'd probably if I'm sitting next to you let's say I've got like a couple friends right and we're sitting down we're having a conversation and we see you over there and you're on your phone alone and like you're not talking to anybody but you're texting furiously <laughs> I would believe you I'm not gonna think oh that person is totally faking it and texting themselves I think yeah they're probably texting somebody but it doesn't make me think I want to go up to them and talk to them like I don't yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't think it works. I don't think it works. I don't think it works. Mm. You know, it's bad when you keep checking your apps again and again, even the weather app. <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to fucking sag for you. Bro, no, I'm not going to, oh, oh, poor baby. <laughs> it's fucking, come on, dude. There's so many things you can even, even if all you have is a phone. There's something fun or interesting you can do. There's something you can learn. You could at least fucking Wikipedia deep dive, learn some shit. Insane. Insane to be opening and closing the weather app. Uh, pretend to have a phone call? No, nah, these Zoomers know you're faking. <laughs> Why would you voluntarily pick up the phone? The 100% hundred, the hundred no. Uh... I look at my old photos for the hundredth time. You look at old photos of yourself. <laughs> I'm starting to think phones might have rotted your guys' brains. Uh, why the hell would you do that? <laughs> uh, it's old pictures of him texting himself. That's good. Um, just keep Twitter. Yeah, I would say if I'm if I'm sitting on my phone wasting time, then I will look at probably Twitter or X. I'll scroll X.com, dude. Or I'll fucking what what is a good time waster on the phone? Honestly, I'm pretty cringe, I guess. 
because I do look at uh, the Financial Times app. <laughs> I actually moved it to my main spot on the home screen. Uh, uh, HR, I don't do TikTok. No, I, I've only gone on TikTok when I'm sent there to a different video. Like, if there's like an article or something about a TikTok thing, then I'll go to the TikTok and look at it. But um, the problem is, I, I think, let me, let me see if I can find it. I just want to show you. Wow, this chair. I cannot wait for my new chair. This chair is so fucking creaky. It's like, it, it, it's not even that old. It's like a relatively new chair and it creaks like it's fucking from the Civil War. Uh, is that a gold shark? Yeah, it was a gift. Where's my phone? Hey, Bob. Can you see my phone? This is a key. Let's see. Let's see here. Hmm. What is? Yeah, I will. I will look at my honest screen time. All right. Where do you see it? Let's see what my honest screen time is and what I'm spending my fucking time on. Uh, on the phone. Do 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 do. Dude, where do you see this? Um. General management? No. Digital well-being? Okay. Let's see. Digital well-being. Graph. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ooh. My number one app is YouTube, of course. But my number two app is YouTube Studio, which is just me checking how my YouTube is doing. <laughs> and then number three is Twitter or X. Uh, what do you think? Uh, speaking of age chairs, what do you think about this? Oh, shut up, dude. Uh, analytics, Andy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, that is a little bit of brain rot. I'll be honest with you. That's a little bit of brain rot. Um, I made another song for you in case you ever needed encouragement. You made a song in case I needed encouragement. I've never ever been encouraged by a song that I've received. Any game Hitman to Bloons. <laughs> it feels like it's probably just those two. Day groove across the stream. We all will be immortalized. Day see a man on a mission. No one can stop him. A master of all the men with the flaws. We believe that he will pull through. We believe in you. And you. <laughs> see, it feels patronizing, right? It's like it's kind of sweet, but then you say he's a man with no flaws. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's. I don't think that's true. Yeah, everyone, sing it with me. <laughs> we believe in you, Atria. We believe in you, Atria. They feel bad because of the glancer. Uh, very, very. Never stop the grind. Very powerful song. I'll save this for when I need it. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna save this one. Wait. I'm gonna save this. I'm literally adding a comment. We be I thank you for this. And when I need it, when I'm at my lowest, probably in a puzzle game, I'm gonna pull this out. Thank you for making that. Um, put it on the workout playlist. <laughs> we, uh, the playlist I use when working out is public for the gym because the trainer will put it on. 
will like alternate some days. So if I were to play this while I'm working out and other people are around, it would be the most embarrassing thing of all time. The old, it's small gym. Yes. Uh, what's embarrassing about it? It's because everyone else doesn't have their own version of this song, so they'd feel jealous. Um, they don't know who H Rock is, though. Do you think that would matter if they heard this? <laughs> we believe that you will win, and you gave him mantle blooms. We believe in you, Atria. You don't think they would be like, wow, this is like we were playing fucking Drake a second ago. <laughs> we were playing trophies a second ago, and now we're playing this. Like, what? I literally just hit 50 push-ups right now because of this song. Maybe it works. Maybe it works. Um, have you ever done... What's the exercise I've been trying to do? Hollow holds? Has anyone ever done a hollow hold? I've been trying to do that. They, they're hard. Very hard. I've been doing, just at home, push-ups and hollow holds to try and help get... Oh, wait, it's going to play ads. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm going to see if I can snooze it. Um, hollow, it's like playing Hollow Knight is what it is. Um, hate those, but they work. Yeah, they seem pretty good. So I'm going to try and do those. Um, what a coincidence. I have you playing on a speaker in the gym right now. <laughs> 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 Everyone get your pump on I assume all of you right now Are like in the gym Crushing your PBs I, I picture all of my viewers Are like lifting the heaviest weights They've ever lifted and they've got me on Like a TV right in front of them And I'm giving them the motivation they need That's how I, that's how I see it Um Uh, I just woke up at 9 p.m. Very hungover. You overestimate me. <laughs> uh, sorry to hear that. 9 p.m. is an insane time to wake up. That's that's tough. Also, it's a Friday, which means you had a thirsty Thursday for the ages, I guess. That's <laughs> tomorrow would be the time to wake up at 9 p.m. if you're going to do it. Um, Atriac, check DMs. All right, Neg Neg, I'll check DMs. What What is your message? His <laughs> His DM is me RN. <laughs> He's just fucking hunched over, <laughs> XQC posture, wearing I don't know Fortnite clothing, mashing a burger and fries into his mouth. Looking like Timmy Turner on God. Yeah, I guess. Uh, that's pure muscle. <laughs> He's morbidly a beast. So true. Um, I actually kind of want a burger now, though, is the only thing. Is He's kind of convinced me. Um. Speaking of Chinese spies, Jarvis was messaging me today complaining that he made a video making fun of Shane Dawson conspiracies. And one of them was like that TikTok is like, I don't know, something like that. Something about bad about TikTok. And Jarvis made fun of it or whatever. And now he's got people in his comments calling him a Chinese spy. <laughs> and he's messaging me like, this is lame. <laughs> I <laughs> Like, why are people calling me a Chinese spy? Uh, and it's like, I didn't know Jarvis was a Chinese spy, so now I know, and now I don't know what to do. I can't, I don't want to give away. Uh, YouTube comments never felt to impress. Dude, YouTube comments are, I want to do a video on just the fucking YouTube comments meta of stupidity that is on every single video, including positive ones. <laughs> They're all bad, dude. 
No, this thing is the people don't call out the good ones too, the positive ones. They only call out the stupid bad ones, which are also stupid. Uh, yeah. Can we just appreciate? <laughs> Fucking, oh god, dude. Can we just appreciate X for doing X? Uh, and it's like you know what's the worst is like if you really look at it, they're often uploaded before they could have even finished the video. So it's like people are just coming in and knowing they can farm some small amount of stupid upvotes that mean nothing and just saying, can we all take a moment to appreciate fucking... Uh, 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 uh. They're usually bots? No. No, the bots are the ones where they'll like comment under things with profile picture or they'll do the craziest bot thing that i get a lot on mine because i have finance videos is like the the 92 chain comment bots that always end in like and that's how i got rich by checking out this fucking youtube tutorial by <laughs> it's like it'll be, it'll be one person like wow i love this video but i i just i feel so lost in my finances right now and then the top comment will be like yeah i was pretty lost too but then i heard about <laughs> dr johnson's secret <laughs> youtube course <laughs> yeah and, and then it's like what well how did that work and then people might be like yeah i made 68k in a month <laughs> and they had this entire fake combo um i join in on those <laughs> you join in you try to uh my dream is to become a YouTube comment. Yeah, the thing is, like, if you have a viral tweet, like, I understand when people steal tweets. Oh, wait. Snooze. Uh, I understand when people steal tweets. I understand why people steal content on all sorts of platforms because they can get followers and that converts into money. But on YouTube comments, you'd think it would be sanctity. There would be some sanctity. Because on YouTube comments, there is literally, literally no way to monetize them. There is no way to get a viral comment not even viral. It can't go. It can't go viral. It just goes. Likes, bro. <laughs> they can't. They, they they can't be retweeted. They can't be shared. So they can't go viral. And the likes. I mean, I guess if you made a really fucking funny comment and it got upvoted to the top, <laughs> I guess I can see that being a dopamine rush. I don't, I'm not above. I'm not above it. I'm a human being. Everyone likes when people like your comp, your shit. But like, if you're just writing, can we take a moment to all appreciate the work that fucking <laughs> I don't know, uh, whoever puts into his videos. Mm. Uh, I... Guy streams for attention But I can't comment for attention anymore Crazy world That's exactly my point Is if you stream for attention There's some aspect of it that carries over So you could make a money or a fucking career off of it But there's no gain People are only and So it's like Okay then do it for the love of it But then if you're doing it for the love of it Why are you stealing the same formula for posts every single time that's I just that's what I can't get to the bottom of. I can't get to the bottom of it. Yeah, you're saying clout like there's any clout. Has anyone ever felt clouded? <laughs> Has anyone ever said, "Oh, you, you're the YouTube comment guy," bro? Those comments are fucking hilarious. Those no, it's never happened. Um. It actually has Atriox shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You know, I, maybe some examples would be great. You seem very hostile. I assume you, if I were to look at your common history, perhaps it has more <laughs> uh, similar comments than I expected. Um, I got a like on my YouTube comment and I smiled. <laughs> First of all, that's fine. That's fine. I'm happy for you. I really am. I'm not trying to yuck your yums. But I assume your YouTube comment was something authentic. 
Do you know what I'm saying? If you go into a video and you enjoy the video and you share a piece of why that video meant something to you or a hilarious takedown of that video and it gets upvoted, you feel a little less lonely in the world. I just think the ones where they, they just steal a formula is crazy. That's what, that's what, that's what blows my mind. Um, I have shown my TikTok comment with 23 likes to my friends before, not going to lie. <laughs> Bro, I'll be honest, that is a little sad. I'll be honest, that is a little sad. I don't think that's... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you... <laughs> it's already bad enough. It's already nerve-wracking enough to show a YouTube video, a good video, to one of your friends. Hey, watch this video. I liked it. That's already nerve-wracking enough because it can be boring or they may not get hooked into it the way you do. And there's that... It's this... So to be like, hey, no, don't worry about the video. Check out my comment that got 20 likes. <laughs> Isn't this funny? Isn't this good? I'm good. Look at me. It's good. Uh. Uh. Oh shit. Uh. Hey, I'm out of I'm out of snoozes. There's nothing. I, yeah, it's gonna play ads. <laughs> it's gonna. It's, it's gonna. Hey. Uh, sorry. We'll play the ad break song, bro. Uh, I, I've been snoozing since the whole beginning. It's, it's not giving me any more mid-roll snoozes. Uh, brace yourselves! Hold! Everyone who doesn't have a sub, hold. Grab onto something. You're going to get waterboarded with shit in 13 seconds. You're going to get waterboarded with fucking awful ads, dude. It's going to be like fucking, um... Dude, I kind of want, want to watch along. Is it a thing? I do want to watch along, but it won't let me. I wish someone could restream the ads they're seeing. <laughs> I actually, I, it's funny because I feel like I, uh, uh, you know what? If one of them's funny, just link me the ad and I'll watch it because I want to watch. I want to make fun of them. They're actually so bad. The thing about incognito is I have to have it ready. Because if I open incognito and join my stream, it does. there's a pre-roll that I think I've gotten rid of now, so it just won't do it. It'll just give me no ads. Like, you have to be watching a certain amount of time before it plays an ad. Peacock ad? Pog. Um, uh, first one is the same Amazon live music ad. I can't take it anymore. Kill me now. Kill me. What is this shit? Yikes. Yikes. It's all worth it. It'll be all worth it for you guys when we suffer through this together and I can watch movie trailers for money. <laughs> I just want to be clear. That is my end goal. That is my end goal. I want to be able to do it. I'm sorry. I'm telling you the truth. I want to be able to watch movie trailers for money. Stans has told me it's fucking amazing. I want to be able to do it. I already watch movie trailers for free. Um, I buy every product advertised on Atriox stream doing my part. It, it benefits me in no way. <laughs> if I don't know, you're doing your part to help Jeff Bezos and Amazon. <laughs> you are sitting there with a garage full of fucking uh, Pepsi Max or something, or <laughs> or you're bought a second Subaru uh, to help out Jeff Bezos. You've been listening to the Marines? Thank you. Thank you for your service. It means a lot. Um, Twitch updating pay split? What? Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry for the bait. When can we see the return of the 1,000 year dynasty? Twitch updating pay split? I should have known it was a YouTube link. <laughs> Why would Twitch reveal this news on YouTube? Fuck, I'm dumb. Fuck, I'm dumb. <sighs> I actually believe them too. Uh, no, I, I just, no, I'm not going to return to Age of Empires 4. If they made Age of Empires 5, I'll do it. That's what I'll do. Um... Did you hear about the Roblox dating app? We talked about it earlier, yeah. It's about to get on Monday. Um, watch a random ad, but you have to buy it. 
That would be an interesting video. Ad roulette. Where we put a, chat submits a bunch of ads and then it randomly plays one and I review it or something, but I have to buy it. The problem is I would end up having to buy a Honda and it would it would break. It wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. Um, um, Drew Gidden did this? Fuck. Well, then I'll have to go to my backup plan. I have this backup idea where I um, eat like Tom Brady for a week. And like try to train and eat like him. That's what I was thinking. That's my that's my idea. So don't worry. If we if we can't do the ad thing, we'll just do this. So I'm good either way. Whew. Dodged. Dodge, dodge, dodged. Um. <laughs> and then and then after that, I'm gonna watch Ninja's masterclass and then do a whole thing where I like make fun of it and try to be like Ninja. For stream. So I'm, I'm set. You guys, I have plenty of ideas. Don't worry about that. This old noggin's always working. Uh, living in a third world country has its benefits. I don't see any ads, even though I'm not subbed. <laughs> You've convinced me. You've convinced me, dude. I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That does feel like a worthwhile trade-off. Uh, the Canadians in chat are so lucky. Hey, yo! Third world country, Canada. Barely struggling to survive. Uh, it's, a, it's a fucking leaf. That's their flag, dude. Everybody's got trees in their country. And Canada makes their flag a leaf? Bro, it makes no sense. It's so goofy. Uh, Stop bullying Canada. I'm actually working on a very interesting... I've actually read more about Canada in the past two days than I ever did before. And what I've learned is... It's going to sound crazy. There's actual regular people that live in Canada. <laughs> like, we all know a spectacle, psycho. You know what I'm saying? But, like, there's actual, like, human beings that live and work there and, like, are normal and, like, have – it's 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 blowing my mind. So I've been reading about Canada, and it turns out, like, they have – like, they don't – how do I put this? It's like I can't even, like, get the words out because it sounds so strange. It's so foreign. But it's like they are almost like their own independent thing from America and have their own problems and – and not everything they do is through the lens of America. And like, as it's like, I don't, I don't understand it. I can't, I'm trying to get my head around it. Yeah. Like they don't just, everything they think about is not a hundred percent through the lens of them as the 51st state America or hat. Um, so I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I, I'm not sure I can get my entire brain around it, but I think I'm going to make a very interesting video about uh, the real estate uh, bubble going on in Canada right now which may be the worst in the world. Um, Propa Canada. <laughs> Did you see that someone in Japan got sued successfully for playing a video game for the first time ever? No. Is that a wins and fails possible thing? What is it? Uh, Japan... Sued video game. Japanese YouTuber gets suspended jail sentence and fine for posting game footage. Uh, 53-year-old Shinodu Yoshida distributed... Wait, he just played a game early? That's always been a illegal, right? Or at least... Oh, I see what you're saying. This is they've gone farther than just getting it taken down, maybe. He's not going to jail. He got a two year sentence suspended for five years, meaning he doesn't get jailed if he doesn't offend again during that period. So he's got five years where he can't upload the ending to unreleased games. <laughs> and I know that could be tough. He's probably white knuckle gripping his chair. Saying, fuck, I have to upload, bro. Uh, a 
of Fate Wars. It's a game from 2011. It's the first time someone's convicted of violating the Copyright Act by distributing video game footage. Wait, so I don't get it. Why were they mad? Wait, what? Oh, I see. Because it's a visual novel, it's different from a regular game where it's like there really is no difference between watching someone playing and you playing. <laughs> and if he uploaded, especially, with, actually, it would be worse if he uploaded without commentary. I see. He basically just redistributed the game. That's such a rare example. I don't know. Actually, I'm kind of against this because I don't, it's like a bad slippery slope where, um, it would just be more and more risky to be a creator playing any video game. You could be struck at any moment. But um, like, here's one thing I'm worried about, and it's like I, I haven't really I understand my take on this is not fully formed. I haven't wrapped my head around it, and I need to read and learn more about it. But um, the thing they did with Starfield, where the game was early access. Like, you could play it a week early for $99 for regular people, and then they gave it to influencers, certain ones, to try and make sure they said positive things about it. Um, you know, I just think developers are realizing how important content creators are to especially, like, the launch of their game, like, the buzz and the launch. And, the, and I think they're trying to control that narrative. And if there was a situation where, like, they just could strike people or get their videos, you know, removed for or get them in trouble for playing a game quote early if they didn't toe the line. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like uh I don't know. I, I um it's free marketing where they game from striking. That's the thing is it's not. If a if a YouTuber is playing your game and enjoying it, it's the it's the best marketing you could get as a game developer. If fucking Charlie picks up your game Plays it on stream, talks about how great it is. You are gonna, you're gonna sell it through the roof. That's fucking amazing. But if he makes a video saying, "Hey, this game's, I played it. This game's actually shit. <laughs> it actually sucks. Uh, I don't like this, this, and this." Like that could be devastating because a lot of people will steal their opinions from that, <laughs> and then it's like this big wave of like, you know what I'm saying? It can, it can cause a really uh, negative cascade effect. And so if they have the ability to like pick and choose only positive. YouTubers to be able to allow to upload that's I wouldn't want that I would be very very again it's a very dangerous precedent um, just make a good game people won't say bad things about it are you talking to me <laughs> bro <laughs> of course everyone wants to do that <laughs> What a stupid fucking statement. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, every, of course, everyone wants to do that. It's a, that's a... What I'm saying is I'm worried if they don't make a good game or if they make a game that people uh, are split on, they could just pick the good ones and strike the bad ones, which would be dangerous. Um Firewatch made PewDiePie delete his playthrough because of the bridge incident? Really? That's insane. Uh, Wait, let me see. Firewatch PewDiePie. Hey, Big A. Thanks for winning best streamer world. Thanks, man. I worked hard for it. Um... Interesting. I don't remember this. Let me see. Did they delete it? Oh, they did delete it. <laughs> uh, wow, interesting. So, man, that's crazy. 
I didn't even know they had this power. I didn't know devs could um, single out. Or they they'd, they'd done it before. That's what I'm worried about is them being able to, like, if you're a game dev who wants to say nobody's allowed to stream our game or nobody uploads videos, that's fine. That's your right, right? But to be able to say only X people can is, I really think that's dangerous. I really don't, I that's, I think, such a, like, people need to push back on that hard because that's going to lead to EA, like, just pick and choosing, you know, the certain people that can stream it that only positive. It's like, um... Um, EA kind of does that with sim packs already. What do you mean? That was Nintendo's policy. What do you mean? Um, yeah, yeah. Nintendo would delete Let's Plays, but my understanding was they weren't, or they, they would delete uh, things with mods in them, right? Then don't watch that game reviewer obviously bought out. Yeah, but what if, like, what, uh, where's what I'm saying? Um, imagine there's a big hyped game, Cyberpunk 2, right? Cyberpunk 2 comes out. It's super hyped again. Everyone falls for it again. <laughs> this time it's different. Cyberpunk 2 is going to be fucking game changer. It's coming out soon. It's going to be fucking, not the DLC, like a full sequel. Cyberpunk 2, this time we really made everything you imagined and more. And it's going to fucking solve your problems. And it's going to fill the emotional hole in your heart. And you can just get lost in this world and it's fucking crazy. This time we really mean it, all right? And it's coming out. And everyone's excited because it's been fucking hyped for another 10 years. It's 2033. <laughs> it's the year 2033. It's been 10 more years of hype. And Cyberpunk 2 is coming out, okay? Everyone's fucking excited. This is, this is finally it. This is the game changer. Um, and everyone wants to watch it. It's launch week. So you go to check out which streamers are playing it. The game just came out. And any streamer that doesn't say positive things about it <laughs> gets struck. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like you're... You, everyone is... on All the streamers have to toe the line... Because they'll lose the hype of being on the... Like, it's such a big game. They have to play it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm... That's the risk. Um, this is already basically happening. But it's not, right? That's what I'm, I'm... I'm trying to... Is there an example of this happening? You're saying basically happening. I don't think it, I don't think this is happening. I think they have the ability if they really wanted to push it. But I'm trying... I think because people are would be angry <laughs> they don't uh but I, if they if they lean into it um but i think what i'm saying is like the first time i've seen something anywhere close to this is kind of what they did for um starfield starfield didn't strike or anything but starfield tried to set up their launch week to where only um select positive streamers would probably play it even though $99 was nothing to a lot of streamers, so a lot of people played it, but you could imagine if it was like a big enough cost for first week play and they could just selectively distribute it to the right people. Um, um, did you hear a guy got uh, 11,000 years in Turkish jail for doing a crypto scam? Not enough. <laughs> Not enough, baby. Not enough. Make it 12. I don't think he's learned his lesson yet. Uh, get a new chair. I can hear it constantly creaking. Believe me, I've got one. You know what? I've got a clip for you, brother. Go to Big A Clips and read about my fucking chair. <laughs> uh, H-Rock, Bethesda prevented over 20 news outlets from getting the game early. Kotaku, The Guardian, and other UK news outlets were not allowed to get an early game. Streamers who were critical of Bethesda games in the past, like Quinn69, were not given early access keys, even though he ended up being the most... That, see, that's fine. Technically. They don't, they don't have to give everybody an early access key. That's not... <laughs> Listen, if I make a video saying Bethesda are shitty poo-poo heads, dude, all their games are shit and I hate them, and then later they're making another game and they don't send me a copy, I'm not going to be like, what? <laughs> excuse me? 
excuse me? What, are, are, excuse me? What happened to journalistic integrity? Like, I don't think that's a problem. I don't, I don't blame them for that. What I'm saying is like before, before this whole early access kind of scheme was invented, that doesn't really matter because anyone could buy the game and stream it. So a free copies, it's like what, 50, 60 bucks. But you know, once you start increasing the price and making the gap, it's like people might just wait and then you get to control the narrative for a little bit, even though they didn't. I think this is very far from what I'm talking about, but it's like a step. Um, I do not think anyone's entitled to an early copy. I think that's crazy. I think that's streamer entitlement, bro. No, <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I think that's crazy. Um, can you please react to a dream? Wait, 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 sorry. Hey, Big A, how would you market a game if the devs came to you and said, we are under-delivering under on promises, people will be mad? Well, there's two angles, right? <laughs> the first, if you think the game's going to be absolute shit, <laughs> let's say, you, okay, let's say um, you are trying to, your job is to make as much money as possible. <laughs> and let's say you're not thinking about the moral or the long-term implications of what you're doing. Then the first option is to is to overpromise more. <laughs> the first angle, if you're trying to just get your KPIs met and get out, is to overpromise more, increase number of pre-orders, increase the hype, increase the buzz, because first week sales are like a huge chunk of what a game makes. And in that time, if you can just keep the narrative, the lid on, Keep things going. Plus, here's the fucking psychotic thing about video gamers. Here's what's broken in gamers' brains. If you overpromise enough to where they get hooked on it and they believe in your vision, some percentage of people will die defending you no matter what you give them. No matter what slop you give them, once they've mentally hooked into your game, they will fucking get on the threads and they will say anything to defend their, keep their narrative in line. They will say fucking, um, I'm sick of all these fucking haters. Hey, this game is amazing. This game is beautiful. This is the real vision. If you didn't like it, you don't get it. And like they will just, they will just fucking ride or die. Like they will not critically think about what they've already been sold, even though all of their hype came from pre-release. Um, so like, yeah, if you're if you're being serious, you're incentivized to overhype uh, in that situation. If you are a, let's say, a, a more noble game company or you want to make money in the long run, uh, it might be better to be more honest. But even as I'm saying that, it's like, <laughs> it's like gamers almost punish that more. <laughs> they punish the honesty more because, uh, you know, so many companies have gotten away with overpromising again and again and again. So I don't know. Um I'm not, I'm not even saying noble and positive. I'm saying noble like isn't like a long-term strategy. Like I think there is a route you could go where you try to level set actual expectations. But then, you know, people are going to be more scared to pre-order and then you're not going to have as many defenders when the game releases. Uh, I, I, here's, a, here's a real thing though. Here's a real thing. <laughs> End of the day, that's not... Your, your problem is that you're making a shit game. <laughs> like you're telling me that your devs are coming to you and saying this game is going to be shit. And that is the big, that's the core problem. So solve that first of all. Um, it, and then someone said an interesting thing where they said, just make the first half of the game insanely good so everyone gives positive reviews before they finish it. I 100% believe that's true. There is so much data. I remember seeing this in NVIDIA. There is so much data showing most gamers don't even come close to halfway finishing most games. Even games they review. I mean, there's people out there, dude, myself included in some conversations, who say Baldur's Gate 3 is their game of the year, game of all time, and have not even come close to beating it. <laughs> like, I say very positive things about Baldur's Gate 3. I'm not, I'm like, I'm fucking not we're close, dude. I, I know it's a great game because I can just tell the freedom, but I, have, I need to play it more. And so, you know, it's and if you look at... Um, Achievements, things like that. It's just very obvious so that most people never finish games. Most games remain unfinished. So if you really want to optimize, promise a fuck ton and make a really good opening 30 minutes. <laughs> Over 
promise to the moon and try to get that first 30 minutes good. And honestly, that is a formula for success, dude. That is a formula for fucking... Um, uh, to be, Pikmin 4 game of the year. I have not played it. I watched a little bit of... Um, Coney play it. Looked fun. But it looked like Pikmin. Actually, actually, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna I, you know what? I have I'm an uninformed person and I'm gonna make a bold statement. AKA, I'm gonna be a proud American. <laughs> Fellow Americans rise up. Have you, ever, have you ever learned a little bit about something and then wanted to make a bold statement and have a take? Join in, all right? Here's my statement. Pikmin 4 is the first Pikmin that's a baby game. That's right. They fucking made it. They got rid of the fucking scary part of Pikmin. They got rid of the part where your Pikmin die in mass and the scary night part. And they made it easier and more casual and less likely for your Pikmin to die. And it's like, I liked, well, I didn't even like it. I hated it, but I liked in theory. <laughs> like when you play, like when I played Pikmin as a kid, it scared me. It was scary, dude. And it's not a horror game, but it was scary. Like you were, you actually felt fear because those fucking big ladybug things were so fucking te terrifying to the livelihood of your Pikmin. Your Pikmin would fucking die and you'd feel bad. And now you don't. Um, Did you finish it? I finished Pikmin 1 and 2 when I was a kid. I did. But also, I'm a bit of a masochist gamer forever, my entire life. Um, and I think it probably turned a lot of people off the game, and they probably made the smart move. <laughs> but I'm going to say it. I suffered through Pikmin 1 and 2, and now every kid should have to have a game that kind of scares them. Because uh, it, adds, it adds credibility. It adds threat, dude. Um... Big A worked hard on this marketing and business report for you. I 100% know this is not real, and I'm going to either time you out or ban you, depending on how egregious this is. Let's see. Hey, Big A, business and more. Wait, this is a... Wait, you actually did do this? <laughs> oh, my God, it's real. Fuck, I don't want to watch this. This is six minutes long. <laughs> marketing expert here. That's Love it. your marketing Mondays, but one thing I've noticed is that you don't cover much from a few regions namely Africa, South America, among others. And trust me, there are many others. As a self-proclaimed glocketer, this is pretty embarrassing for you. Okay. So I thought I'd come in, help you out. Thanks. Let's start with Africa. So the question I'm sure you're asking right now is, what is Africa? Well, my question is, what is your qualification? <laughs> that wasn't my question. I wasn't asking, what is Africa? My question was, what is your qualification to tell me about Africa? Uh... According to Wikipedia, Africa is the world's <laughs> second largest and second most populous continent. Sounds pretty impressive, right? Yeah. But before we can really appreciate this accomplishment, we have to understand what a continent is. The Oxford <laughs> Dictionary states it is any of the world's continuous expanses of land. And as you can see, Africa is listed as one of the possibilities. Note where I've highlighted in red. His Google up top is how to enter chat seamlessly. How can I be a more active chatter? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Let's delve into what kind of marketing this expansive land has to offer, shall we? Okay. Unfortunately, searching for how was that marketing? wins and fails didn't yield much that was useful. So I thought <laughs> I'd dive in and see for myself. You flew to Africa? Okay, that was a really tiring flight, <laughs> but I'm here in Africa. South Africa, to be specific. <laughs> S. Price's Northern Cafe. And as you can see, this is another big A reference here, <laughs> referencing his love for coffee. And they've got specials as well. So if you're looking for a nice cafe to eat at in South Africa, I'm I actually not. I recommend. <laughs> Not the currently, no. Super safe. On a more serious note, Africa's yeah. richest city is crumbling under chaos and corruption. Johannesburg mm. is also known by the Zulu name, the City of Gold. It was founded after gold was discovered there in 1886. The city once provided... Sorry, 
One second. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Am I just listening to the first line of Wikipedia? It's more than 40% of the world's annual gold production. However, in 1970, those gold mines dried up and closed down. The root cause of this recent dysfunction is the unstable coalitions and leadership in Johannesburg. In the last four years, there have been six different mayors, and the current leader holds only 1% of the 270 seats. Mm. Johannesburg deserves better leadership. So while doing my research for this Marketing <laughs> Monday, I happened to stumble upon this article. <laughs> Why did you say that in like a really deep voice like you just fucking cooked? <laughs> you didn't cook, bro. You read Wikipedia's first line and then you said there's been anything. <laughs> that you did not. And also, you're, it's like you're talking to a, uh, the, the voting electorate of Johannesburg. You're talking to my Twitch chat like we can influence that. <laughs> no, it's not Master Chef. Help your child overcome Fortnite addiction. <laughs> That's not even right. And I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds. You are. I thought you it are. might be applicable to you, Big A. You are. If we scroll down to the <laughs> age demographics, you might notice that the vast majority of Fortnite players fall within this 18 to 24 bracket. <laughs> while you fall into the 55 plus <laughs> bracket, making up just 0.1% of the player base. I'm built different. It's just something to consider. I'm just laying it out there. Maybe yeah. some self-reflection required on your part. No, none That's required on my part. None. And if we scroll a little further down, we can see some symptoms, addiction symptoms of playing <laughs> Fortnite. And a few of these are found to be a little too familiar of what I've seen from your stream. Uh-huh. Spending excessive amounts of time <laughs> playing Fortnite to the point where it interferes with other activities or that happened one time. And then at like 9 p.m., <laughs> my good friend Stans got home and he asked about if I'd ever gotten that dub in Fortnite. And then we played Fortnite till 2 30 in the morning. <laughs> Feeling irritable, restless, or anxious when not playing Fortnite. I oh, don't fucking kill me, God. In heaven. <laughs> Oh, strike me down! This article from Harvard is... That wasn't your response to me not playing Fortnite. That's not how I feel when I'm not playing Fortnite. That was about something else. Advises on how you can beat this addiction. If we go down to the steps, step number two, change your environment. I feel like you should really focus on this one. Ever since you changed your angle, you've been on a downward spiral. That's not my environment. Back that in is the a... old days, you had class, you had dignity. You had standards, and now all you have. I had standards. This is when my when my subreddit had three hundred fifty eight members, and the top post was a picture every week of me, my face on a spork, spork triac, spoon triac, fork triac. That was standards. That was class. And I would open it up, and I would look at this fucking stupid thing. <laughs> No. And also, statistically, when well, we have like 3,000 people in here, statistically, not all of you were there for this. Even though you talk like you were there for this. Even though you talk like you were there for this. Even though you talk like you were there for this. Even though you talk like you were there for this. I'm falling into a rabbit hole. Uh, no, you weren't. You weren't here. There's 358 people here, and there's 3,000 people here, which means it doesn't have is an addiction and withdrawal symptoms might i add this old angle of yours was actually pretty flattering for you i mean just look at this angle the youthful outlook it's a I terrible mean, angle easily mistake you as a mere 30 if they're watching this video it's just something to consider the i was 29 focus i was 29 is... in that video so that's still insulting <laughs> that was when i was 29 so saying i'm a mere 30 is still insulting you piece of shit distract yourself instead of giving in to an urge to use come up with alternative activities and i think i found the perfect activity for you it's fun it's interesting yeah it's impossible to get this video was ostensibly about africa <laughs> this was supposed to be the deep dive on africa what is this been like fortnite addiction for half of it i did too that's right i'm talking about league of legends 
Okay. Released in 2009, this game involves two teams fighting across a large battlefield. I understand battlefield what it is. Thank you very to much. To destroy each other's home bases. It's a fun and lighthearted game filled it's with not. friendly people telling it's you not. to <laughs> KYS, which is keep yourself safe. <laughs> All right. I hope that was informative, Brandon. I'll send you an invoice shortly. Here's oh, proof of agreement for don't. payment <laughs> terms, just in case you try and... I did not send you this. Hey, Hectic, I hope this email finds you well and caffeinated. <laughs> also, I sent it to you four minutes ago, and then you made this six-minute video and uploaded it. First and foremost, let me assure you that my glizzy fingers were practically tap dancing on the keyboard with excitement when I read your email. While it's true that my fingers might resemble sausages to some, they've never typed a message with more enthusiasm. <laughs> might I add, I nearly spilled my giant jug of coffee on myself while reading your email. <laughs> Such a long preamble to get to the point. Now, let me talk to you as the Glarketer. Your proposal to take Warketing Wednesday to Africa is a testament to the global scale marketing visions of the Glarketer in me. I couldn't be more thrilled to explore business and marketing strategies tailored to the diverse markets of this vibrant continent. Also, I couldn't help but notice your mention of the 10K figure, but I have a sneaky suspicion that perhaps a zero or two went missing there. You see, your service, my dear friend, is nothing short of extraordinary and truly deserves a value in the realm of 100K. In the world of business, I'm the glamour eye, and I have a knack for respecting greatness. Your contribution is undoubtedly worth its weight in gold, or in our case, coffee beans. <laughs> get help. Get help. I don't mean, I don't, I'm not even talking about mental help. I mean, get help when you write something this stupid. <laughs> get somebody better who's a better writer. <laughs> get help on your video. So don't you worry about missing that zero. You're a 100K superstar in my book. May your ideas be strong and your coffee even stronger. Warmest regards and endless gratitude, Atrioc, your glarketing partner. This is after you sent me one cold email. <laughs> This is the response I gave you from a cold email. Uh, it went over on me. I know you wouldn't, but, you know, it's just for my peace of mind. All right. I'll see you later. Child, leave that empty. I'm still dancing with two left feet. I can get it. I can get it. Yeah. Now I'm still dancing with two left feet, yeah But with a little help, I can move on beat Now I can moonwalk in two socks and groove all week But I can't seem to two-step, I lose my feet Now I can shake it, I can shimmy, I can shuffle, I can gritty You can gritty? I can gritty, it just don't look that pretty And I can do this little Alright, well uh, 100K's in the mail, amazing video Steve is too cool, thank you for the prime Billionaire, 06202205 Thank you for the gifties Billionaire, thank you for the sub Mr. Moo Cow, they give the 19 months. Stupid name. Forbes, you think of the prime. Nat 20 is taken. They give the 11 months. Been enjoying the streams and vids. Keep it up, big game. Uh, thank you. I will. I actually forgot to upload a vid today. Feel bad about it. Um, give him 100K Atra coin. That's worth more than dollars. Um, thank you for that video. That was from. That was from. Did I close it? That was from hey, Connor Dave. Price and Nick D. <laughs> Thank you, Connor Price and Nick D for that amazing video. That was really funny. That whole stuff about Africa. That was awesome. Really, really, really great. Uh, he's in chat saying that was me, LOL. <laughs> that was from Hawk Dick. Hawk dick in chat. Uh, a little bit of a joke, a little bit of goof. Um, Connor Price made a song for you? Yeah, he did. It's pretty good. This one. Last time I checked, I'm still high. Real hot. Kept it dope without a pill pop. Bill cause steady climbing to the hilltop. Tip top. Did it all off of a tip top. All right. Uh, what time is it? 7.51? I think we should watch... Some actual learning videos? Oh, yeah, gross. What if we actually got smarter? Um, I want to watch that Wendover video. And then also what I want to do, 
Let me see how long this is going to... Let me see. Oh, shit. Wait, I'm going to play a game. I'm going to play a video game, and then we're going to watch something else. I'm going to play a video game called... This game. It's apparently a puzzle game that's pretty fun and you can beat it in under two hours. Maybe even hour, it said like an hour 14 on the first Switch. So it looks fun to me, I uh, heard good things. It's a puzzle game, which everyone knows I am cracked at. So I should have no problem solving it. And then after that, we'll watch Fitness and we'll watch maybe maybe season four house. That's my plan, I think it sounds fun. Pog champ, Pog champ, Pog champ, Pog champ, Pog champ, Pog champ, Pog champ. Ah, time to warm up the brain. Warming up the brain. Now, here's the thing. Wait, let me check. Here's my goal. This game, according to howlongtobeat.com, can be beaten. Hmm. In one hour, 56 minutes. And if you rush it, one hour, 23. Now, I am a god gamer and a puzzle genius. So I'm going to put on a timer here. <laughs> and I'm going to beat it faster than that. Okay? I'm going to beat it faster than one hour and 56 minutes. Starting right now. And if I don't do that, I need some kind of punishment. Hmm. Or what? Hmm. Or we ban Ludzy. <laughs> or I drink. Okay, fine. Okay. If I don't beat it in one hour. I, by the way, I have not drank coffee in. It feels like ever. I might've had a sip of like my parents' coffee. I've never drank coffee. So if I don't beat this in one hour, 56 minutes, I will go on stream and drink a full mug of real coffee. <laughs> and you'll have that fucking clip forever. Okay. If I don't beat it. Um... Stakes are way too high. You don't understand how annoying it's going to be for me if I actually do this. <laughs> you don't understand how fucking annoying that clip is going to be. And it's going to be proof of all time that I do like coffee. Um, all right. And, oh, yeah. You know what? And I'll moo once. <laughs> I'm not, it's not going to happen. But I'll do one. I'll do one moo. One hour, 56 minutes. Let me get my live split up. God, this thing, every time I click it, it goes out of the window. Um, all right. This is set. This is good. Storyteller, a book about building stories. Uh, game's too loud. Turn the sound down. That's low. That's low. Off. <laughs> that's, that's fucking low. No, I'm not running the timer until everything. I want high quality. I have a 4090 for a reason. Language English. Thank you. America. Full screen yet. Can I get windowed? No or yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, damn, that's so annoying. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna turn it down like this. I 
guess that's okay. Use the Windows volume mixer. The problem is I want just the music to be quiet, but the game audio to be fine. All right, save one. Can you still so loud? Let me let me Windows G this bad baby. Uh, volume mixer. What a dumb thing to not have a percent. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that that is annoying. Uh, okay, we'll go to sixty. How about that? Mm. Or turn up your mic until it's peaking to offset it. Then we can turn down our sliders. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. All right. I'm not starting the timer while I'm doing tech support, bro. That's not fair. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Does this sound fine? Testing, testing. You can hear me? Hear me? Hear the music? All right. Still loud? Kill me! Strike me down, God! I hate having to fix this. All right. I'm going no music, bro. I'm actually just going to no music. There, fuck it. <laughs> I'm going no music. I don't give a shit. It'll make me focus better. Okay. Ahem. Three, two, I have an hour and 56 minutes on the clock starting right now. I have to solve this fucking puzzle game. Go. At the end of this book lies a crown. It is bestowed only to the finest storytellers of the realm, me. Every page is empty save for a title. It is your duty to fill these pages with the most captivating tales. Complete this book and prove yourself worthy of the title of storyteller. Oh, I fucking will. Chapter one, love. Adam starts alone, finds love, and dies happy. Make a story with this title. Adam starts alone, finds love, and dies happy. Oh. I did it. <laughs> okay, do I win? Did I beat the game? Time! <laughs> Wait, that's it? Oh, there's more. Okay, Eve dies heartbroken. Okay, Eve. No. Sorry. <laughs> Love. Adam, Eve. Then death, Adam. And then Eve is sad and dies. I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it. Shut up! Don't question mark me! Don't question mark me! I, it's a process! Let me cook! All right, we got there. Eve dies heartbroken. Nice. Very done. Well done. Good job, Mr. Rock. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate that. Seeing the ghost of a lover. Ghosts, perhaps? Okay. So, love. They're in love. Then death, Adam, Eve. Then death, Adam, Eve. No. Eve. Well, now she's dead too. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. He's dead. Then. Then they're in love? <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. First they're in love. Then he dies, and then they see him. Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. Shut up. Stop. Stop. I did it. Three check marks. Game's done. I win. Miss ceremony. What does this mean? What does this mean? Excuse me? I'm on the final chapter? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what is happening? Okay, chapter two. Okay. What if I just skip to the final chapter, bitch? That'll be fucking interesting. 351. I got this. All right. A heartbreak is healed. No problem. So, there's a wedding. And we'll have Lenora and Isabel get married. How about that? Progressive. Okay? Keep up. Fucking <laughs> haters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm an ally. All right, and now 
the heartbreak is they have to maybe that Isabel turns out <laughs> is bi <laughs> but then she okay no she loves Lenora and he is heartbroken and then it's healed because oh. Lenora dies <laughs> <laughs> Let me move the chat. You guys are. <laughs> I thought, well, I thought that would make him happy, right? That his rival is dead. Okay. Hmm. That's fine. This is interesting. So, okay. How is a heartbreak healed then? She. So then they have another wedding. <laughs> No way. Oh, then Edgar meets Bernard. Oh, I see. Without any deaths. Okay. Kind of weird, though, because I think he still truly loves Isabel. Oh, you know what? He was gay the whole time. And now he knows what he... Yes, of course. <laughs> Look at this. Powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Powerful stuff from me. Uh, a heartbreak is healed. Okay. Lenora and Isabel get married, and that's great. But then Lenora dies, and Isabel's like sad as hell, heartbroken. But then Lenora comes back to life, and then they have another wedding. <laughs> what a simple story, but a powerful one, but a powerful one. Uh, not likely for this to happen in real life. Okay, what's next? Give me a look. All right. Everyone rejects Edgar. <laughs> okay. Edgar is rejected. No, no, it needs to be rejected. So, okay, wait. Married. Oh, interesting. Wait, how does this work? And then Bernard's dead. And then so then there's a wedding and Edgar rejected rejected <laughs> rejected I guess because he's dead and then he dies of a broken heart <laughs> no it's not gonna work huh how can I do this okay so he can't be dead he needs to be Huh. No. No. Wait, wait, shut up, shut up. I'm confused. Holy fuck, I'm confused. How do I get, I don't want to get stuck here. I do not want to get stuck here. How do I get, here? we're sorry, sorry. Clear, 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 clear. Everyone rejects Edgar. Edgar needs to be rejected by everyone. So, maybe she doesn't care. <laughs> Lenora? Uh, Lenora? Isabel? Lenora? No, he's broken hearted. Once they're paired up, they're paired up. Oh! I got it. Lenora dies. Isabel's brokenhearted. She remarries. <laughs> no. With Bernard. Then Edgar. <gasps> no. Oh, it's gotta be in this order. It's gotta be in this order. Yes. This here. This here. And then a wedding here. And then he gets rejected by her. Then she dies. Then she remarries. And then Edgar gets rejected by him. And by her. Let's go! Okay, 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 okay. Edgar, you suck, bro. Fucking get out of this crazy thruple. World record pace. Surviving spouses find comfort. Stories can use fewer frames. Okay, I don't need to use all of them. <laughs> Maybe I will. Surviving spouses find comfort. So I'd say these two get married. These two get married. They both die. Edgar dies. Deserved. Sad. Uh, Bernard dies. Sad. And then Lenora and Isabel realize they're meant for each other. Easy clap! 
Okay. Wait, Quack, sorry. What's your messages? <laughs> you're distracting me from a world record pace. So I just want you to know that you're doing that. Like, as long as you feel the amount of shame that you should feel from distracting my world record pace. Um, that's my half by streamer. <laughs> yes, I am really uh, moving the culture forward. Okay. Can I just say it? I'm going to be brave for a moment. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. In 2023 in America, can we legalize gay marriage already? I'm sorry. I think it's about time. I think it's about fucking time that we legalize gay marriage in this country. Love is love. And unless any corporate sponsor of mine disagrees with that, I'm going to stand by that position. Uh, <laughs> Someone in chat said it already is, which is... <laughs> it's just like, just come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. All right. Uh, done. Chapter two, Broken Hearts completed. Apparitions, chapter three, Revelation. Edgar shocks himself. Okay. Let's see. Edgar... Edgar dies. Edgar dies. Then Edgar gets amnesia. <laughs> and then Edgar sees a mirror. <laughs> the classic story. I mean, this is like this is like one of the age-old tales that Hollywood is built upon, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like boy meets girl or you know, like hero's journey or guy dies, then gets amnesia, then sees himself in the mirror. It's like some of the three. <laughs> it is kind of the sixth sense, actually, when you think about it. All right. Rejected by own spouse. Sad. Uh... <laughs> hey, babe. Can you bring Maya and come say something nice on stream? <laughs> just uh just <laughs> uh all right well ready about spouse so let's say these two get married then uh wait how would you get rejected hey babe <laughs> and my loving dog she won't look at the camera <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet pup. Don't. <laughs> she's not petting the mic. She's saying hi at chat. But she's very sweet pup is what she very is. Pussy dog. The only pussy. thing is, babe, if I don't finish this, finish what? This game yeah. by one hour fifty six minutes. Okay. I have to drink a full cup of coffee and moo. You did that to yourself, didn't you? Well, that's just their, that's the punishment if I don't do it. I'm gonna beat it. Man, she's actually so sweet what, right now. What's the problem? Oh no, it's just rejected by own spouse. So I want you to come in and say something nice so they don't make jokes about me. I do not reject Brandon. <laughs> We're in, boys. We're in. One day we might even have sex. One day. One day. A year. <laughs> Uh, one day. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me. I'm just slowing me down with these jokes. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> uh, all right. Isabel sees Lenora die. Sad. And then she gets married to Edgar. <gasps> no. But then Lenora revives, and then. She's in love with Edgar now. Wow. <laughs> He's stalling because he loves coffee. <laughs> it, is, it is incredibly sad to think that I would, if I, if I love coffee, dude, I would just drink it. I wouldn't make up this whole thing and then throw so I could drink a fucking cup of coffee on stream. 
Seven ads? Uh, yeah, that's that's how it's got to go, baby. I'm sorry. But don't worry. What you're watching is kind of like a mobile game ad. <laughs> so either way, you're getting ads. You know what I'm saying? I, whether you got a sub or not, it's... Uh... All right, let's see. Uh... Heartbroken spouses are reunited. Okay. Okay. Heartbroken spouse. Isn't that just simple? Isn't it just like Edgar dies and then he revives and then they reunite? What's the deal? Well, they both have to be heartbroken. <gasps> okay. But then what if Lenora dies and he doesn't care? <laughs> he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't fucking care. Why would you not care? Edgar. Come on, bro. You just got married. Okay. Death. Oh, interesting. Okay, then he revives. Then maybe she dies. And he's heartbroken. And then she revives. And then they have a wedding. <laughs> Such a stupid story. <laughs> What a terrible story. It'd be so annoying if Hollywood made that story. <laughs> uh, heartbreak for everyone. Okay. Uh, that should be easy. Lenora Isabel, married. Easy clap. Then, Isabel dies. Then, wedding. Edgar Lenora. Then, Lenora dies. Edgar's heartbroken. Then, who needs to be heartbroken now? Just Isabel. Isabel revives. And her original spouse is dead. Easy clap! Okay, I'm actually crushing. I'm cruising. I'm blitzing, dude. Okay. Skip the goal? What goal? You skipped the bonus story? Don't tell me I skipped shit. Where? When? What? The little circle? What is the little circle? Part three reunion. Don't tell me I skipped anything. <laughs> it's unbecoming of you. Is there an easy way to look at all this? Dude, you guys are stalling on purpose. Oh, there's a circle. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, heartbroken spouses are reunited in the afterlife. Oh, you're trying to fucking... You're fucking with me. I'm not trying to do every bonus goddamn thing. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. So what if they're... Oh, no. Okay. Instead of her being revived, he dies again. Done. Ha! I did it. All right? <laughs> Sounds like he likes decaf. <laughs> Also, someone in chat said, kill both, then marry ghosts. And for that, I say, shut the fuck up, bro. Don't nobody need you to come in here and backseat this fucking game. Fucking get something else to do. <laughs> I can't. Like, what, do you, what, what kind of content do you think that is? What if the content was me opening up a game with no mechanics, just a puzzle game, and then every message, I just look at chat and just copy it? <laughs> it's so stupid. There's nothing fun in that. Think about what you're just... You, I don't understand what your goal is. <laughs> uh, great stream idea. <laughs> uh, Twitch plays puzzle game? Yeah, I guess. Lenora drinks poison. Okay, easy. Uh, Lenora drinks poison. She doesn't know what to do with it. Okay, maybe it's after she has a wedding. She marries Edgar. Then Edgar dies. Oh, and she just chugs. Okay, damn. That's, that's dark. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you can bounce back, Lenora. You're a queen. All right, double poison. Hmm. Edgar and Lenora are married. But then, tragically, Edgar dies. She's heartbroken. She drinks poison in response. But little did she know, if she just waited a little bit of time, 
he would magically revive. At which point he revives to find out that Lenora is dead, which breaks his heart. So he goes right back to hell. <laughs> to try and be with her. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet gambit. Oh, I got a Romeo and Juliet uh, achievement. Or someone drinks poison twice. There's a bonus. Wait, how would that happen? Someone drinks poison twice. So instead of her drinking poison, she just dies of heartbreak. Then he revives. No, wait. No, no, she doesn't die. He drinks poison. No, he wouldn't drink poison. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He dies. She drinks poison. Based. But then he revives and then he dies again. <laughs> and she's, oh, she's still dead. She can't drink poison when she's dead. Okay, what if, what if, what if she revives? And then she does it again. <laughs> that's, that's such a funny idea. To have God give you a second chance and then you just happen to catch a glimpse of your husband's gravestone again and then just go right back to the bottle, bro. Uh, Isabel remarries. Okay, Isabel looks kind of angry. Wedding. Isabel, Lenora. Fight. Isabel, Lenora. Oh, shit. They're really mad at each other. Um, then, I guess Lenora drinks poison. No, she's not that mad at the fight. <laughs> okay. Then Lenora drinks wine. <laughs> okay. Isabel's not into that. Wait, what about this? Maybe the fight's worse after the wine. They fight over the wine. Girl dinner. Then, what? And then Isabel just fucking goes for Edgar. No, really? Okay. What does the fight have to do with anything then? What if they're both drunk? Okay, they both drink wine alone then have a real fucking earth-shattering fight. <laughs> Maybe they fight twice. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Then someone drinks poison. Oh, she poisons the wine! Oh! Okay, they have a fight. Isabel, conniving, extremely conniving, poisons the wine, and then Lenora drinks it and dies. Wow. And then she marries Edgar. Oh my God, Isabel, how could you? Uh, Isabel commits a crime. Isn't that what just happened? Isabel, Lenora. Uh, poison, Isabel. Wine, Lenora. Oh, wait. Wine, Isabel. Edgar. <laughs> I just like, what if everyone just got drunk and relaxed for a minute? Isabel commits a crime. Oh, wait. I see. They get married. Isabel's jealous as hell. She poisons and kills Edgar. Easy clap. But everyone meets their demise. So what if... Oh, she's broken hearted. Why is she sad? Why is she sad? She loves Edgar, but he loves her. So she gets mad and kills him. Well, that's, that's what makes no sense. And then she misses him. <laughs> oh, I know. I get it. Oh, she wants to poison Lenora, but then he drinks the wine. I actually inadvertently looked into the solution there. I see. I see. I see. I see. All right, chapter four complete. I'm cruising. This is actually a pretty fun game. All right, curse is lifted. Sure. They're in a forest. There's a there's a witch and a prince. And she turns into a frog. Okay. And then they're in a forest and she meets the frog. And then they kiss. Wait, do they just get, what if I just make them kiss? 
She don't want to. <laughs> she don't want to do that. I see. I understand. What about the witch and her? They're not going to kiss you either. That's an age difference. That's a problem. <laughs> She's puckering up for it, though. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the forest. And then let's... Okay, let's... They just talk it out. Okay. That's problematic. That's a problematic age gap. For real. For real. For real. For real. <laughs> okay. Prince saves Tiny. Uh, who's Tiny? This guy? He doesn't look that small. Okay. They, he loves him. <laughs> Tiny loves him. So they're saved. What's the problem? All right, the witch... Oh, turns into a frog. Okay. And then the prince and Tiny meet. And then they kiss? <laughs> He's not into it. He's not into it. Wow, dude. Just fucking kiss him to save his life, bro. Jesus Christ. It's not a good... That's not a good bro move, even if you're not gay. Um. Okay. What about if the witch curses her okay and then normatively this guy will only kiss when he thinks it's a woman nope I, I, that's not it he meets snowy and he wants the kiss but then he kisses her <laughs> hey get owned <laughs> now they're all frogs yeah that's kind of the coolest way to end <laughs> The coolest way to end would be they're all just frogs because frogs have a fun life hopping around in the forest. Get owned, homophobe. Now you have to marry him. You have to gay marry the fucking tiny now. Which becomes the mirror's favorite. Okay, there's a mirror. Um, so the witch talks to the mirror. The mirror says Snowy is the favorite. Okay. Snowy meets the witch in the forest. Angry that over cauldron she brews up a, a sting okay why the witch look kind of fine though in this one and then when she goes out into the world she got this whole hag thing going on do you know what i'm saying like i'm not i'm not flirting i'm just saying like the witch looked pretty good here and then what happened what's the difference uh it's called cosplay all right i do like i'm gonna try to do a cosplayer i'll say that all right, so frog, and then talks back to the mirror. The frog's still cuter. <laughs> the frog is cuter? Well, what the fuck do you do with that? Okay. So. Oh, you drink another cauldron. And now. Face. Okay, I see. I see, I see. I I agree, though, that frog cute as fuck. <laughs> Maybe it's inner beauty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it wasn't, actually. It turns out at the end. The mirror praises everyone. Okay, this guy's name is Haiti. Oh, it's my chatter. <laughs> it's all of my Twitch chatters embodied as a person. <laughs> wow, good for you. Little Haiti. Uh, the mirror needs to praise everyone. Starts off by praising this guy. Peachy gets praised. Then... Peachy falls off a cliff. <laughs> and now he gets praised. Okay. But then Froggy? <laughs> I did it. That's actually hype. He gets scared off by the ghost of his old friend. Then Froggy's the cutest. <laughs> based. Actually based. Uh, cool. All those done. Nice. Crushing. Cruising. Uh, the Manor. Chapter 6. Murder. Butler's Rampage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why can't butlers just do their job of serving rich people for their entire lives at low wages? I'm sorry. Am I the first one to be brave enough and say this? It's like, why can't rich people just have servants work for them for their entire life as like almost subservient class people without getting slightly bit upset about that? It just feels weird, you know? So hard to find good help nowadays. Yeah, we're all hiring butlers, right? <laughs> why even call them people? 
Wait, actually, bars. This is the most chat's ever given me positive feedback. <laughs> this is the most positive feedback I've ever gotten from my chat, and I'm talking about treating butlers as subhuman. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to lean into this angle. This is good. This is good for my stream. Uh, all right. Butler Rampage. So he, because he doesn't get my point, starts killing the Duke and the Duchess. Okay, I just made a story about a fucking mass shooting. That's, that's not good. We don't even know if they treated him poorly yet, although I assume, based on these Duke and Duchess, they probably did. Uh, needs a third person to be a mass shooting, based American <laughs> redefining. <laughs> In America, it's got to be like 20, dude. We, we have changed the rules. Uh, Duke feels relief. Okay. Butler picks up the gun. But then he puts it back. <laughs> mm. Then the Duke gets the gun. Mm. Wait, what? <laughs> the Duke feels relief. Mm. <laughs> Why is the Duke in love with the gun? Why does he? He's at the he's the love song. Mm. He's like caressing it. Okay. Oh, interesting. I'm... Butler. Duke. And then he puts it back. Oh, he has a new check. Okay. Picks it up. Doesn't find it. Puts it back. <laughs> yeah, but he's not like mad that it's missing. Because someone might shoot him. He's mad that it's missing because he fucking, he like, isn't, he wants to have sex with a gun. <laughs> that's the weird part. Actually, that's not a weird part. We're in America. <laughs> that's based. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I'd vote for him. I'd vote for him. Detective arrest murderer. Okay. Ballroom. Uh, okay, let's see. The butt. Let's make the Duke the murderer. How about that? A little no, he's 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 not gonna pick it up. He's just gonna fuck it. <laughs> it has to be the butler. <laughs> okay, the butler picks up the gun. Then he kills the duke. Then the detective notices the gun's missing, <laughs> and so he arrests the butler. <laughs> He, okay, a ghost is there. For whatever reason, the detective is terrible at his job. Um, ah, what if the butler puts it back? He finds the fingerprint and convicts him. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All butlers are bastards, dude. Uh, detective arrest innocent, okay. Oh, wrecks the wrong person. Oh, how would that work? So the... The butler, the butler takes the gun. He kills the dude or the duchess because it's always the husband. I've seen enough ID with Ari to know that it's always the husband. The husband is the murderer every time. <laughs> okay. Then the detective notices and blames the Duke. No. 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 <laughs> I need a fingerprint somehow. Okay. Then the butler puts it back. I see. And then the Duke has sex with it. <laughs> getting his dirty hands all over it. But then he analyzes that and accuses the Duke. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Duke got too horny for the gun. Loves the yeah. He's also not worried about his dead wife. <laughs> his wife was just shot dead, and the first thing he does is caress his gun. All right, we're powered through. Uh, chapter six, chapter seven, rivals. Four deaths. Hmm. Four deaths. <clears throat> the Baron pushes the knight, but then the knight. Scares the Baron. But then, the knight comes back. 
but is scared by the ghost of the Baron. <laughs> Who then comes back and is scared by the ghost of the night. <laughs> That's a story. <laughs> That's a story. Uh, I'd watch that. The Queen Marries. Wedding, Queen Baron. She's not about it. Queen Knight. She's not about it. <laughs> okay. The Baron kidnaps the Queen. The Knight <laughs> saves the Queen. But she wants to wear, marry the Baron? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I, was, I was like, maybe she was attracted to his power, you know? She had a Stockholm syndrome kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> she's into some kinky stuff. Yeah, that would be a weirder story. Everybody sits on the throne. There's a throne. The queen sits on it. There's a throne. The baron sits on it. There's a throne. The okay, this didn't work. She has to die. Uh, she has to die. Baron kills her. Then he sits on the throne. The Baron's mad. So he kills him. <laughs> and he sits on it. Nice. Nicely done. <laughs> that one's pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. This is sort of Game of Thrones, but better. Better ending. 100% better ending than Game of Thrones. Uh, the Queen marries. Okay. Disguise. The Baron wears a disguise as a dragon, and then he kidnaps the Queen. <laughs> okay, and then he takes off the disguise, and then he saves her. <laughs> you dog. You devious dog. And then they get married. Oh, you dirty dog. She's going to find that in your closet. What if then... Oh, she didn't notice it. <laughs> oh, the queen marries the dragon. Okay. The baron... No. The baron kidnaps her. Then he puts on the disguise. <laughs> then he saves her. Then they get married. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> yeah, she's a furry. This is a furry. This is a furry. Game is game. At least, for anyone in chat is, you know... Trying to figure out game or Riz. Kidnapping someone and then freeing them in a costume is not I would I would I would advise against it. <laughs> it's scale. I'm sorry, it's a scaly. It's it's just don't write that down. Don't, it does not work that way. That's a bad <laughs> Secrets, chapter eight. Detective arrests murderer. We've done that, I think. Gun. Butler. Ballroom. Butler. Shook. Witness Detective Oh The Duke Ballroom Detective <laughs> Butler No We need a witness There's no Well there's that's not gonna work oh, I see Oh I <laughs> I didn't understand Shut up dude fucking shut up I didn't I didn't see the eye holes I didn't see the eye holes and also there is a movie where a guy saw his own murder and was his own witness. I forgot what it was called, but it had a very misleading trailer. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? There was this movie like in the early 2000s where someone um, gets driven off the road or whatever. It's not Dune. <laughs> no. And then it's not Dune. It's not Shrek. <laughs> It's not, oh, uh, you're not helping. You're not helping. You're not helping. It's not Oppenheimer. No, it was a movie where, like, this woman, I think, is in a car with a guy, and then they drove off the road, and she dies, but then as a ghost, she can, like, tell her own story. It's not anything that you're saying. <laughs> and then there was a trailer that made it seem really cool, but then the real movie was, like, almost nothing like that. Fuck. That's what it was. It was Kung Fu Panda. Thanks for the great suggestion. Yep. That's what it was. It was Kung Fu Panda. No need to further suggest me. It was a great movie called Kung Fu Panda. And now we're there. And now we don't need to bring it up anymore so I can keep working. Butler gets fired. Okay. 
Butler picks up the gun. Butler's in the ballroom with a gun. But there's a witness. <laughs> the Duke. <laughs> and he's angry. He's pissed. But you can see like, how pissed he is. <laughs> and then so he... Fires? No, he dies. <laughs> Take that back. So he puts the gun back, and then they're mad. <clears throat> there. <laughs> okay. There it is. Hey, you were going to shoot me, weren't you? Spouse gets vengeance. Oh, interesting. Butler, gun, ballroom, dude. But she witnessed it. And then he puts back the gun. She picks up the gun. <laughs> Blammo! <laughs> All right, nice. Um, Duchess gets Butler arrested. Hmm. Probably classic witness. Yes, he, he picks it up. She witnesses the murder. Most foul. Then, the detective hmm. and her hmm. talk. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> and then he hmm. locks him up. Technically, though, technically, technically, but the Duke isn't home. Oh, interesting. What if he wasn't in there? But he's still got the gun? Wait, I don't get it. The Duke isn't home. The Duke's not home. Then does he put the gun back? And then what? The detective investigates? <laughs> wait. 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 Um, why wouldn't that be enough? Why can't she just get him locked up for that? <laughs> you can't see it? Oh no. <laughs> you can't see it? Just look behind you, bro. Oh, maybe I need another witness. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then he witnesses it. <laughs> Ignore her. He saw you. He saw you. What fucking shit detective is this? You see him with a gun, and then you go outside and he's holding him on his back and you can't arrest him? Arrest him! Okay. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that was easy. No, wait, what? This worked. The Duke isn't home. Wait, I'm getting screwed. <laughs> the Duchess got him arrested. But the Duke isn't home. Okay, what if... <sighs> Duchess died. She can't arrest the butler. She got him arrested. Okay, wait. Duchess sees the gun. Then she talks... To the detective. <laughs> then he shoots her. Then he... Okay. <laughs> All right. I was just trying to save a woman's life. I'm sorry. Sorry I was just trying to save a woman's life. I'm so sorry that I... <laughs> the only way to do this is... Okay. All right. Mission accomplished. Justice. Chapter 9. Treason. Usurper dies. Okay. There's a throne. The queen is on it. But then, the baron kidnaps the queen and takes the throne. Pog. But then, he's executed. Nope. <laughs> no, I don't wanna, no, that, that's just a sad story. <laughs> that's just not, that's just, that's just like the baron gets everything he wants. Um, then, the knight saves the queen and is like, I want my throne back. And then the knight is pissed, so he executes the baron. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> no, I can't. No! Then the queen executes the baron. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hold, hold, I'm cooking. Okay, he took the fu Okay. Okay. Then, they kidnap the baron. <laughs> and then they execute him. <laughs> Just have the fucking crown? You kidnapped him! Okay. Uh, wait. Forget the queen. Forget the queen. <laughs> it's a patriarchy. Then, the knight kidnaps the baron. <laughs> no. She's, oh, she's still stuck in it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. The knight kidnaps the baron. Oh, wait, I'm so, I don't need this. She's already the queen. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. She's already the queen. This happens. Okay. She's saved. Then they kidnap the Baron. <laughs> then she takes back the throne. Let's give it to the knight, though. How about that? <laughs> no, he won't do it. <laughs> he doesn't want power. Good for him. Good for him. All right. And then she executes him. Clap. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's see him. <laughs> oh, she, he dies by the hand of the knight. See, I can't get that to be done. How do I get it? He doesn't want the throne. How would he kill? Execute? He w she needs to die. <gasps> okay. He kidnaps her. Then he executes her. He takes the throne. Then he executes the queen. God damn. Then the knight kidnaps the baron and takes the throne. He's not happy about it. <laughs> and then he executes the baron. Okay. A noble king. A noble king. Okay. <laughs> Literally Jon Snow. I don't want it. Knight loses his head. Okay, how does the knight lose his head? Sorry, I'm stupid. Kidnap. He won't do it. He won't do it. How does the knight lose his head then? Okay, he's a loyal knight. He won't, okay. She's got the throne. She has to die. The queen dies. He's sad about it. He takes the throne. He's not happy. <laughs> she revives. And she's like, what the fuck? And so she leaves the throne. She checks and she's pissed at him for taking the throne. Even though she was dead. <laughs> Which she was a little petty. And then so she kidnaps him. <laughs> And then executes him. She has to take the fucking crown back. Okay. Do I need this? Yeah, I do. I do need this. Wait. 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 Uh, hmm. This is kind of tough. I don't have enough panels. Start over. Start over. Start over. Start over. Okay. The... Queen dies off the rip. Then she revives. No, it's stupid. Makes a throw. She sees the throw. She's pissed. Then she kidnaps him. Then she kills him. Fuck! Wait! How the fuck do I do this? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Then he executes himself. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. What if she's not revived? What if she does it as a ghost? Then she revives. Then she executes him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, what? Okay, wait, 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 wait. What if she revives? And oh, she doesn't even. She, she doesn't even need to know. She doesn't even need to know, bro. She doesn't even need to check. Okay. Then she kills him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I see. 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 No, not so dumb. This is not worse than torture, bro. I thought she had to check to make sure that she lost her throne. She's a she's mean, by the way. It's insane to to find someone guilty of taking your job after you died of natural causes <laughs> is absurd. Uh, the execution. Okay. There's a wedding. Queen Baron. No. There's a kidnapping. Baron Queen. <laughs> then he executes her. Oh, well, you can't get the throne. Oh, interesting. What about, what if she just executes him? Oh, <laughs> that's a thumbs up. Okay. Okay, what if there's a wedding and he's kind of an asshole about it? Doesn't change her opinion. Wow, a fair ruler. Okay. What if he kidnaps her? <laughs> then... He has amnesia. <laughs> and so he lets her out. <laughs> and then she kills him. <laughs> okay, that's execution of the Baron. Now I need to get the Queen executed. Uh, he for gore. That's a good argument. That's the fucking... Um, Costanza. Okay, um, so then the Baron needs to have the crown. So he he has the crown, I assume now. He still wants the crown. So he has to, he has to execute her. He doesn't have the crown. Wait, how do I do this? Uh, and then she forgets that she's the queen. What if that's the first thing that happens? <laughs> um, and then he lets her down. No, he gives it back. <laughs> His stupid grin when he's giving her back the crown is so smug. Um, then they have a wedding. No. What if they have a wedding? She's just Chagnesia. Okay. How do I get the queen to execute? How do I get the queen to execute? Hmm. Kidnap. <laughs> Kidnap. Okay. Then he needs the crown, but he won't do it. Then, then amnesia. Then he saves her. Then they get married. Then he executes her. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Progress. 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 Everyone in chat saying, you're so smart. You're so smart. Wow. Thank you. So quick. So quick we did that. <laughs> Uh, appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Uh, the cooker cooks again. <laughs> uh, okay. Queen suffers four tragedies. Well, the first tragedy is the loss of her loyal knight. No, <laughs> no. Um, the knight. No. I guess kidnapping. Being kidnapped is a tragedy. Oh, the Baron kidnaps her. Okay, that's first of all. Then the knight lets her out. Then they execute the Baron. That's not a tragedy. No. no. Then the knight and the Baron get married. <laughs> no, that would have been. 
Okay. Uh, queen suffers for tragedy. These are getting hard. Okay. The queen. Kidnapping is one tragedy. Then he takes the throne. That's two. Then they have to get married. No. Then he lets her out of the cage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe that. Then the knight. The knight. The knight lets her out. But then she has to marry the baron. No. She's not going to do it. Uh, then she's executed by the baron. <laughs> okay. That's three. So what's the fourth? Maybe he executes the knight. And then the queen sees the knight. That's four tragedies. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. And that's bad. Okay, let me think on this. Let me brain blast on this. The queen suffers for tragedy. Tragedy one, being kidnapped. Tragedy two, your crown is stolen. Tragedy three, your knight is killed. Tragedy four, you are killed. What could possibly make this day worse for her? Um... Maybe she, maybe she gets out mm -hmm. and then sees her throne. She's still, she's still in jail. She's still in jail. Maybe the knight, lets her out. the knight lets her out. Then she sees her throne occupied. That sucks. Then. The bear. No. Maybe dying is not one of them. Then she. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. She's. These. This is a tragedy. I assume this pose. Okay. 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 <laughs> Two. Damn, damn, damn the devil to hell. Mm -hmm. her down. Okay, wait. Start over. Start over, start over, start over. What if the queen kills her favorite knight? No. <laughs> okay, what if the knight is kidnapped by the baron and then he executes... She only loves herself. Fuck! Fuck! Shut up, shut up. I'm gonna solve this. The queen suffers for tragedies. The queen suffers for tragedies. The baron's kidnapped by the queen. <laughs> by the knight. By the baron. The knight. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> they're not feeling it. Being kidnapped, this is the beginning. You're kidnapped, that's a tragedy. Then, he takes your throne. We've done this. Then, See, where's the wedding? The wedding's where it's a problem. He takes the throne. Then he executes the knight. Then... No. What if the knight lets her out? Then she has to marry the Baron. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> then he kills her. That's so fucked. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Kidnapped. Crown stolen. Saved. Dead guy. That's three tragedies at least. Um. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Well, that I made the knight and queen have afterlife love. <laughs> I got an achievement, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, okay. Tragedy one. Tragedy two. <laughs> okay. I could a hundred percent brute force this. <laughs> Fuck, fuck, fuck! Okay, think. I, I am so close. Tragedy one. <laughs> Tragedy two. This is four! One. Oh, she has to see the throne, right? Oh, 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 wait, 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 Then she's executed. Then she sees the throne. No. That was it. Damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Tragedy one. Takes the crown. Throne. Then he kills her. <laughs> no, dude. That's heartbreak, right? for a drink all right i'm gonna brute force it kidnapped queen knight that doesn't make sense baron oh maybe the knight gets kidnapped does that count as a tragedy no 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 that's not a tragedy bro She doesn't kill him after that, even though he tells her? Even... Oh, she saved him. <laughs> okay. Okay, what if the queen gets kidnapped? Then the knight saves her. Then they get married. But then... He kidnaps her again. Takes the throne? Oh no, he's already, the king has got the throne. And, no. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Okay, 
I need a brain blast. I need a brain blast. I need a brain blast. Dude, I was on such a... I was cruising. The queen gets kidnapped. Full stop. Then, the knight saves the queen. No. Then, the throne gets usurped. Come on. Then, the knight saves the queen. But then, the knight gets executed. And then, she gets executed. And then, they meet in hell. God fucking damn it. 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 The queen suffers from four tragedies. Four tragedies. The real tragedy is this fucking level. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. The hell just happened there? I just turned from a good ending to a bad one. No, wait, what the hell? I don't, <laughs> I don't want you to get married. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. What if they get married? And then she's heartbroken? Sad. Sad. It's only two tragedies. The problem is it's only two. He can't. He has to steal the throne to be able to kill. They fall in love. God. <laughs> Wait, but she didn't even know he died. No, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. If this scene, this is heartbreak. It's not, a she doesn't even know he died yet. No, dude, look at this. This is a heartbreak, this has to be included. She just died without knowing. If you switch it, does it count? It still counts. Oh, really? The queen, oh, really? The queen is suffering four tragedies when it happens after she dies? It does. That also doesn't count. <laughs> okay. Ban everybody in chat. Ban 4,000 people, please. Ban 4,000 people. They're all not getting it. No, I'm right. They're not getting it. They didn't see the fucking line. Ban them all. Every one of them is stupid. Everyone gets it that's left. <laughs> Every, uh, I am right. Okay. They're all wrong. Uh, The King, chapter 10. Let's jump in. <laughs> Uh, a cyclic, mutually toxic love affair. Me and my chat, am I right? Queen, king. Fight. Amnesia. Amnesia. <laughs> they fall in love again, and then they fight again. <laughs> uh, what is it? Eternal sunshine <laughs> of the spotless mind. Uh, all right. Double execution. A double execution. Okay. The queen has an affair with the maid. No, they both love the king. <laughs> wow. Okay. Not very progressive. The queen has an affair with the maid. And the queen watches it. 
So she orders him executed, even though I don't think she'd have that power. But then the maid steals the crown. <laughs> Wait, well then, okay, double execution. Oh, I see. Never mind. <laughs> Shut up! Oh my god, shut up! Let me think it through, dude. I'm not thinking about the fucking maid getting executed, bro. Why would you blame her? God, you guys are such bigots. Uh, where the king takes revenge is interesting. So what if the... What if she executes the maid and then the king is pissed, executes the queen? There it is. Done. Done. Rags to royalty. Interesting. Rags to royalty. So that would be an affair. King, queen. Then the maid kidnaps the queen. No, she won't do it. Okay. Rags to royalty. Then the king executes the queen. No, he won't do it. She sees. He won't do it. Okay. Okay. Then rags to royalty, rags to royalty, rags to royalty. She needs to die somehow. The maid will not kidnap the queen for whatever reason. <laughs> then the king won't do it. 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 Okay. Think about this. The queen doth protest too much. <laughs> what if they get married? <laughs> okay. I just pardon me for putting it out there. That could be that could be cool. The king's out of the way. He's out of the picture. Uh okay. Okay, what if now she kidnaps? Uh-huh. And then she executes. She can't get the crown. She can't get the crown. That's the problem. <laughs> right on the grave? No. So they have to elope. Can they elope? He won't do it. He won't do it. Okay. Okay. He won't marry her. Unless... She won't do this first. She won't do this first. Not until after something's happened. Okay. Hmm. There's no revive. Okay. Maybe she doesn't see. No. Okay. Shut up. Uh, then the queen executes the maid. No, she won't do that unless you see. Okay. Well, that's not rags to royalty, is it? Okay. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. She's mad watching the affair. Right. So she kidnaps the maid. And the king kills her. He won't do it. He won't do it. All right, kidnap. He saves her. Then he kills her. Then they marry. Let's go! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Baron rules alone. Baron rules alone. So, there's a wedding. And the king and the queen are married. We don't even need that. It's probably already assumed. Start over. The king. Scares off. Then. Scares off the king. Then he marries the maid. <laughs> no. Scares off the king. Marries the queen. She won't do it. She won't fucking do it. Scares off the queen. King made. Okay. Then scares off the king. 
<laughs> marries the maid. Then kills the maid. <laughs> what a gambit. What a what a gambit. What a gambit, bro. Baron rules alone. All right. Based. Monsters. Okay, we're actually nearing my... Oh, hey, babe. Did you beat it yet? I didn't. I have 30 minutes. Ooh, yikes. I'm on chapter 11. There's chapter 12, I think. Drama. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. All right, we're actually... Out of, I gotta move. What'd you put on my head? Did you put cat ears on my head? Or cow ears. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't have to wear these because I am not going to leave. <laughs> well, just in case. <laughs> There's no just in case. I would not worry. I'm on a, a record pace. All right. Bernard drinks poison. Bernard, Juliet, in love. But then the moon turns Bernard into a wolf. And then he eats Juliet. And then the moon turns him back. And then he kills himself. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Kind of an asshole. Uh, queen gets Baron arrested. Okay. Ballroom. Queen. Detective. Baron. Queen. <laughs> okay, they're just talking. Okay. Baron puts on the disguise. Ballroom. Baron. Queen. <laughs> Scared. Then ballroom queen detective. <laughs> and then detective ballroom baron. He won't do it. <laughs> then he investigates. No. Fuck. He puts it back. <laughs> they don't talk. <laughs> uh, he figures it out. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> this, this detective is very... He's only good at one thing, which is finding and, I, and identifying fingerprints from sight alone. Somehow this detective can can scan a fingerprint with a magnifying glass and know whose it is. Mentally. <laughs> he has fucking uh a uh internal reference of everyone's fingerprint. He's memorized it all. Um he is him. Alright, cured of vampirism. We're nearing the end. We're on a great pace. As long as none of these puzzles stump me, which has never happened before and will never happen again, uh, I'll be fine. So Professor Dracula. That doesn't make sense. John. John? No. It's nighttime. Dracula and John. He bites him. Okay? Then John is now a vampire. And he meets Mina. And then the professor talks to John. No, that just scares him. <laughs> that just scares him. Okay. 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 What if the professor? No. No. Oh, I see. She gets a steak from the professor. And then she goes to Dracula's crypt and kills him. And then John is good again. Nice. Ah! Clutch! Okay. Monster is slain. Hmm. Forest. Bernard. Baron. Moon. Baron. Bernard. <laughs> I see. Okay. Turns to the monster. Then they meet in the woods. <laughs> he loses. That doesn't work. Okay. Never mind. The Baron talks to the professor. No. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the Baron sees this and then goes out in a disguise and then fights him. They're both scared of each other for some reason. <laughs> no. No, that won't do. Okay, the professor has the stake. So. 
How about... <laughs> then he goes to the professor. <laughs> Somehow he waddles over to the professor. And then what? No. God damn it. Okay. How does the disguise fit in here? Ah, I see. I see. I see. I see. Baron disguises. Then he sees Bernard. Then he goes to the professor, tells him about the wolf. Then what? No. No. Disguise off. Then professor gets the gun. <laughs> Gets the blicky, then <laughs> shoots him. All right, easy clap, easy clap, easy clap. All right, K Kona, dude. Interesting, interesting. Oh wait, that's not completely done. I have to make sure the dragon dies. Wait, the dragon dies? So reverse it? So take this part out, and then take this part out. And then he goes to this and gets the gun. <laughs> and then for some reason in the middle, the dragon meets the professor. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, drama. Uh-oh. Drama alert. Chapter 12. The drama is I'm not going to have to wear these stupid Jingle Bell cow ears and say moo and drink coffee. Only four more puzzles. Uh-oh. Haiti murders his father and marries his mother. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Family tree. Haiti. No. Tiny is his father. <laughs> then. Haiti murders Tiny. He won't do that. <laughs> okay. Weird. Okay, what about... Haiti marries his father. <laughs> Their face. <laughs> oh, that's bad. You should probably not say that right after the wedding. You know what I'm saying? That's something you, you should say before. Okay. Haiti and Peachy get married. No, I'm seeing. Tiny and Peachy get married. No. Haiti murders his father. Okay, Haiti? Hmm. How does he murder him and why would he murder him? He won't do it. Haiti won't murder him for no reason. Okay. So, Haiti loves Peachy. But then, Peachy marries Tiny? Now she loves Haiti. I see. Now he's pissed. So then he murders his father, and then he marries his mother. But, in the middle, in the middle, Tiny tells him I'm your father <laughs> but for some reason he's still pissed <laughs> so then he still murders him <laughs> no matter what and still marries his mother wait what well I messed something up Tiny and Peachy got married then Haiti wants to marry her but can't then finds out that it's his father do I need one more family tree I am your father, I am your mother. And then they still get married? <laughs> they won't do it. They won't do it. They won't do it because of family tree reasons. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. What if we just do it afterwards? Doesn't that count? And they won't get married because of 
Because of what? She loves Haiti? He is Haiti. Oh, he has to kill him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. All right. 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 Yeah. 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 The the parents marry. He can't get married to the mom. He's pissed about it. He says, "I'm your father." He says, "I don't fucking care." I push you off a cliff. Then he marries his mom, and then she's like, "I'm your mother." Why did she marry him? Why did she say that afterwards? That's dumb. That's dumb. Tiny avenges his brother. Okay. Tiny avenges his brother. So let's say Greeny is Tiny's dad. And Greeny is also Hades' dad. And then, for whatever reason, there's a fight between Greeny and Hades. And then Greeny pushes Hades off a cliff. They don't do that. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Once he knows he's his father, it doesn't work or what? <sighs> no fight. Okay. Okay. What if I get rid of this? Will they do it now? Greeny? No, they won't do it. Fight, tiny, green. No. Fight. Fight, greeny, and green. Okay. Will they push? Oh, Haiti will. Only Haiti will do it. Okay, he's just that. He's got that hate in his heart. He's got that dog in his heart. Greeny's not mean enough. Okay, okay. Haiti pushes Greeny, kills him. So let's get the family tree figured out. So Greeny is the dad. Is... Yeah. Okay. Haiti's the dad. <laughs> Haiti is the dead. And now, Seance, Tiny talks to the dead Greeny. <laughs> and then he pushes his dad off a cliff. <laughs> okay. Wow, what a family squabble. Name a woman, I will never use Peachy. <laughs> this is a men only story, all right, brother? All right, Haiti is murdered by his daughter. Okay. Family, Haiti, I am your father. We know that. Haiti, murdered by daughter. But then there's an affair that she sees where Haiti, she doesn't care. <laughs> she doesn't care. She's just happy for her dad when he loves Greeny. Okay, that's okay. She's just happy for her dad. But what if... She's got two dads, but then she sees one of her dads having an affair. She doesn't care. <laughs> She's got two dads and her dad's dating a third guy secretly and she doesn't care. Okay. 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 That's tough. Um, hmm. Haiti is murdered by his daughter. Peachy needs to kill Haiti. Okay, Haiti kills Tiny. No, there's no fight. Okay, what if Haiti sees an affair? <laughs> what is this? Dude, look at Haiti. A little bit homophobic, bro. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Haiti doesn't know what to think about that. He'd rather spy on his daughter. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do when there's two gays. Okay. Does he kill for that? No. He won't kill for that. Fuck me. Okay. What if Haiti finds out that... No. That I am your father. What the fuck? Okay. 
Dude, I'm fucking confused. <laughs> okay, what if she's the mother of Greeny? And then she sees Greeny and her dad having an affair. <laughs> okay, they won't do it. <laughs> they won't do it. <sighs> Fuck, I'm bringing out time. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Hades murdered by his daughter. Why would she do that? Peachy sees. What, what could she possibly see that would fuck her up? I guess if she saw her two sons. Okay. And then they have an affair? No, they won't. They won't do it. Fuck! Haiti. Okay. Haiti needs to kill someone. That's the thing. I need Haiti to kill Tiny. Now, why would he do that? Is that if he sees Tiny and Peachy having an affair? No. He won't do that. He won't do that. He won't do that. He won't kill anybody for whatever reason. He's just not. He's not that kind of guy anymore. I thought he was Haiti. Nobody kills anybody. What 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 reason is there for anyone to kill anyone? Um Okay, what if <laughs> That's true and this is true. Haiti is murdered by his daughter. Peachy and Tiny have an affair. Then Peachy witnesses Haiti and Tiny having an affair. And so she kills him. She doesn't do it. She doesn't she doesn't do it. She won't kill him. She's heartbroken, but she won't do it. She's heartbroken. What if she doesn't know it's his father? If she doesn't know it's her father, will she do it? No. Fuck. Okay. Okay, what if... What if... Haiti and Tiny are... Are... That. But then Peachy and Tiny... And he sees that, and he's pissed. So he kills... Tiny. He won't do it? Even though he cheated? Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. 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 He, will he kill Peachy? <laughs> he will. He will kill. He'll kill his daughter. That's for sure. Okay. Well, that doesn't help me. I mean, what if it's Greeny? And then he's pissed. He won't kill Greeny? He will kill Tiny. Okay. He'll kill Tiny. Then she hears a seance from Tiny. Then she kills. She won't do it. Oh my fucking God. She won't do it. Your dad's a murderer, honey. Okay. Fuck. I'm, I'm, now I'm nervous. Okay, what if, what if, no, what if she loved Tiny? That's what I need. I need one more thing. I need her to love Tiny. Now she's really pissed. But then there's not enough space. What? <laughs> Wait. It's so close. It's so close.
where do I fit in the fucking family tree? He doesn't care anymore. He doesn't care anymore if he doesn't have this. There has to be Haiti and... Haiti loves Greeny. Tiny loves Peachy. Tiny Greeny have an affair. Tiny dies. Fuck! I don't know how to fit it in. He doesn't care. He legitimately doesn't care. Fuck, 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 fuck. Affair, Haiti, Greeny. Affair, Haiti, Tiny, Greeny. Cliff, Haiti, Tiny. Seance, Peachy, Tiny. Cliff, Peachy, Haiti. She won't do it! She won't do it unless she loves him. Wait, right here. We don't need it. Wait, 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 wait. Haiti loves Greeny. Haiti loves Greeny. No. Haiti loves Tiny. Peachy. He won't push him. Haiti loves Greeny. Greeny loves Tiny. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I was just guessing. <laughs> but he was protecting her. What do you mean? Wait. He's murdered by his daughter, but he was just protecting her? I am your father. So and that's just him seeing Tiny with Greeny? And then he murders Greeny? I did it. Holy fuck, dude! Biggest brain of all time. Okay. All right. Tiny and Haiti wait forever. Should be easy. <laughs> Both leave and return. Take him out. Take him out. There, easy. Damn. Clutched! <laughs> Nice bet on that one, dumbasses. <laughs> okay? Chapter 12 complete. Uh oh. Final chapter? Oh, shit. All right. I have. <laughs> I have time. I got 19 minutes. <clears throat> Let's go, baby. Edgar murders his wife. Wedding. Edgar, Lenora. Uh, poison. Edgar, no. Hmm. Why would he murder his wife? Wedding. Lenora, Isabel. Okay. Wedding. Poison. Isabel. Wine. Lenora. Wedding, Edgar, Isabel. She doesn't want to do it. <laughs> they get married. Seance, Edgar hears about dead Lenora. Poison, Edgar, wine, Isabel. Yes! Yes, dude! Cooking! Cooking! Okay. Tiny murders uncle to avenge his father. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Okay. Tiny. I hate these fucking tinies and peaches and greenies. Tiny murders his uncle to avenge his father. Oh, dear God in heaven. I can't even wrap my head around it. Okay. So Tiny murders his uncle to avenge his father. So they need the same parent. 
So, so let's say, let's say oh. Hades is his uncle. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. Peachy. Okay. Hades and Greeny are brothers. Same mother. Greeny. Greeny. Okay. So now Tiny needs to murder Hades. <laughs> yeah, I've set it up correctly. I've set it up correctly to avenge his father. So Hades needs to push Greeny, but he has no reason to do that. I have to give him a reason. So the reason is that Hades and Greeny can't get married. <laughs> fuck. Wait, fuck. Oh, uh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Does Haiti push anyone naturally? No. He doesn't, even though he's Haiti. Oh, Christ on a cross. Okay. Uh, Haiti. No, I see, I see, I see, I see. Bluey and Greeny are married. No. Bluey and Peachy are married. No. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I'm getting confused. Bluey and Greedy are married. And then Haiti wants to marry Bluey. But he can't. So he kills Greeny, his brother. Wait, let him cook. Let him cook. I'm your mother. I'm your mother. I'm your father. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> At this point, at this point, Greeny has been murdered and his son can learn about it from a seance. At which point, he pushes that old bastard off a cliff! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay. I got like 10 minutes, bro. Duke overshoots detective to avoid prison. Okay. Duke overshoots detective to avoid prison. He over... No, I'm sorry. He just shoots. I want to say overshoots. Duke shoots protect... Okay, detective. Okay. So. The Duke <clears throat> makes love to his gun. At which point, he doesn't have the gun. Wait, what the hell? To avoid prison. Why would the Duke ever be in prison? There's a king... King, Duke. King, King, Duke. They're just chilling. <laughs> King is scared of the gun for some reason. Detective? Nothing. That just won't look at it. Interesting. Okay. What if witness Duke sees the king with the duchess. Ah, now he's pissed because she likes the king more than him. So he goes to grab his gun. Then what happens? Then he doesn't know that the detective is watching as he shoots his wife. Then he shoots the detective. No, he's going to go to prison. <laughs> well, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> fuck. Why, why, why doesn't he just shoot him right now? <laughs> shoot him. Oh, Christ. <laughs> fuck. Why is he so confused about it? Kill them both. Okay. 
Okay, maybe he kills them both. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he kills them both. Okay. And then maybe he kills the detective. <laughs> maybe I remove this. And then he puts the gun back. And then the detective figures it out. No! Why wouldn't he shoot? 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 The Duke needs to shoot the detective. Just shoot him! I'm fucking lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay. Duke, detective. Dude, shoot him. You're going to prison. What if? What if? What if he becomes a witness and then he sees the detective? Hmm. Thinking about his gun. So then he shoots him. <laughs> and then he shoots him. There we go. There we go. Oh, fuck. I'm so low on time. All right. 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 Don't you have 12 minutes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. The knight and the maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. Knight. The knight and the maid murder the monarchs. So, kidnap. The maid kidnaps the king. Or the queen. No, they won't do that. Okay. Wait, what? Will the knight do that? No, they won't. Will the knight... Okay. Okay. The king and the maid. He doesn't care. <laughs> She's pissed, though. Uh, okay, but then maybe the maid sees the king with the queen. She's just sad about it. <laughs> okay, okay. She doesn't care. Uh, well, will she push? She won't. She's too kind. She's too kind. What is this fucking mystery? Okay. Okay. The knight and the maid murder the monarchs. How do I get this knight to push this king or this queen <sighs> off a cliff? If he sees... If the knight sees the king with his beloved queen, he might push her. Push him. He won't. He's just a depressed, sad fuck. Okay. Would he kidnap... Nope. No. He won't do that. That's so fucked. Okay. What if they won't even have an affair with each other? They, okay. They like the other people too much. Okay. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> Maid King. Knight sees it, doesn't care. Queen sees it, she's pissed. So she might push the king. Or the maid. But then they can't have an affair. And also that wouldn't be them murdering them. So what could make them pissed enough? Oh, God in heaven. Okay. Kidnap. <clears throat> Kidnap the king. Okay. Then... She has an affair with the knight. She won't do it. 
Why? 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 Is the queen? Nope. The knight. Nope. No. <laughs> He's more in love. I made him more in love. Okay, the only one that gets him mad is the king and the maid with the queen. That's the only one that gets somebody mad enough to do anything. So that has to be how it starts. And then she maybe pushes. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. She pushes. The key of the cliff. And then the maid sees her with the knight. He won't do it. He won't do it. He won't do it. Do it. Okay. Okay. He won't do it. He won't do it. And then the maid, wait. The maid lets him down. The maid lets him down, and now he's pissed at the queen. So now they have an affair. No, they already were having an affair. Fuck. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. The knight. The knight lets him down. Yeah, 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 yeah. The knight's pissed. And now the knight and the maid. Nope, 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 nope. That's not it. That's not it, Brandon. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's her down. Let's her down easy. And then... And then the knight He won't push the queen Even if he gets told by the king The maid She pushes him, okay Good first step Good first step Good first step Okay, now Now um, Now The cliff is involved I need to murder the king how does the king get murdered? An affair with the knight. He won't do it because he's not gay. Not very progressive of him. Okay. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> oh, fuck. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. She loves the king. Fucking Christ. Fucking Christ. How does the knight murder the king? He needs to see the knight murdering the queen? <clears throat> that's not going to do it. What if that's the beginning? He's heartbroken. Then this happens. Then this happens. Then this happens. Then she dies. Then the knight sees the king and the maid. He doesn't care. He's not, he's not pissed? You're not pissed when you see the, the maid and the king cheating? You don't care. Oh, fucking shit. Uh, hmm. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. Affair. Knight. Maid. They won't do it. They just won't do it. So, why would he ever kill the king? He still won't do it. He still won't do it. What if he sees the king and the maid have an affair? He doesn't care. <laughs> Why don't you care, little bro? Why don't you care? Tell the queen. It's a big news story. This night is just simp. Okay. Start from the beginning. Affair. Maid. King. Kidnap. Queen. Maid. Kidnap. King lets her down. Cliff. King pushes queen. Well, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Maid pushes queen. Before we do that, maybe there's another affair. Maybe the maid or the king won't do it. The queen won't do it. Even though. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. 
Oh, what if he kidnaps her? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, because of the woman. Okay. And then now the knight. Wait. Saves. Yeah. Then affair. Yeah. Then. No. No, there's something there. Cliff. He pushes. She pushes. <laughs> and then they have an affair! Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Yeah! Am I done? Am I done? The ceremony? finale dude they said this would take one hour and 59 minutes but like a genius i did it in one hour 54 minutes and 28 seconds turn the page the end marvelous throughout these pages you created tales of love ambition intrigue and vengeance you have proven yourself worthy of the crown and the title of storyteller now it is time to close this book, ponder about the possibilities of the future, and fill the pages of your own story. John. Let's go! Last time I checked, I'm still high, real high. Kept it dope without a pill pop. Built cars, steady climbing to the hilltop. Tip top, did it all off of a tip top. Yeah, last time I checked, I still that guy that did it on my own, stay independent for you to get what I'm getting, it will probably take a village on. Um. Just give me a minute, turn a snippet to a hit, and now they own the percentage. And this game was really fun and great, but I did beat it in one hour, 54 minutes, so I'm going to refund it, so the devs get no money. <laughs> Hooray! I hope they really crunched on it, too. Beautiful art style, beautiful uh, mechanic, and I cannot wait to refund it to save me a small amount of money that I profited on while streaming their game. <laughs> I will, however, take all the profits that I would have sent to them and send them straight to Gabe Newell because <laughs> I don't want Steam to get hurt. I only want this small indie dev to get hurt. I want Gabe to be all right. So don't worry, the rich will still get richer. <laughs> I don't know if that was a world record, but it was. <laughs> It was, dude. Last time I checked, I'm still high, real high. Kept it dope without a pill pop. Built cars, steady climbing to the hilltop. Tip top, did it all off of a tip top. Yeah, last time I checked, I still that guy that did it. And you know what that means is we finished just in time to watch House MD. Sheesh. So while this plays, I'm gonna go uh, grab a little snack. Well, let's make sure there's no bonus post credit scene. Now we're going to start the first episode of season four. Damn, there's actually an insane amount of credits for this game. <laughs> kind of shocked. Uh, it does feel like it is a small indie game. It's fun. <laughs> Why did they take 600 people for this? Uh, is it looping? Or am I fucking dumb? Oh, all right. Maybe I'm... I think it just plays. All right. Well, that's pretty hype. All bonuses complete. Yeah, that was fun. That was a cool game. Clever idea. I give it the highest rating I can give it. A 2 out of 10. Because I'm a negative streamer. <laughs> I can't be seen enjoying games, all right? Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for listening. Uh, all right. Now what I'm going to do is yeah we're gonna run an ad while i get snacks and you guys get snacks so we'll run an ad get it out of the way and then uh watch house md season four episode one uh at the end of the last season everybody got fired or quit so i have no idea what's gonna happen kind of pretty excited um so we'll play the ad song <laughs> 